Hello, world. Hey, everybody. Hello, What's going world. on, everyone? What's up? Where's Dave? Hey, Appraiser. Where's Steve? Yeah, yeah, really. Yes. I mean, if Donnie can be here, these guys can be here. Sir. Yeah, I mean, I barely made it on time, but what the hell, you know? Come Same. On. Yeah, racer, first in the hey, chat. Jesus Christ, Congratulations. that box is big. <clears throat> oh, Donnie's right. got a huge box. I forgot. Oh, we, yeah, we gotta see what's big in his boxes box. everywhere. Let's run around and see what everybody's going to work on. Then we'll do mail call because I think everybody's got something to show. So let's. Uh, yeah, let's I actually do have Gordon. one thing. Uh, what are you working on tonight? Uh, I'm actually going to practice uh, doing some windows on the Enterprise hull. I know a guy that did that. God help us. Yeah, I know. He and, knows uh, a guy. I know a, I know a guy that happened to do all of this. <laughs> oh, you know what? That's oh, a good some... selection of that's a good selection of panels that Ian sent you. Yep. I wanted exactly. to send a variety. And there's actually hold on. Unmas. So I got. Uh, I was going to say the side of the neck is the trickiest one. So if he yeah. sent you one of those, that's that's the. I sent both sides of the neck. Both that's sides of the, the neck, top. including that, a that's... very warped yep. side. That one's easy. That one's a piece of cake. It's the it's the the underside of the neck, the side walls. There you go. That one's the tricky one because it's a it's a it's a double convex shape. So excellent. Well, I I will help. Hard you to in get the tape and stick to it right. No, you have to use the curve. Uh, to me, a tape for tape for curves for that because the UV resin tape is too stiff. It won't it won't sit flush to the panels. Yes. Uh, and so, but you have to be careful with that tape because if you hold the, if the UV's got brand new batteries, the flashlight's got brand new batteries, and you hold it there too long, it heats up so fast it melts plastic. So, and it looks like he got a pretty strong flashlight. So we'll we'll uh, I did. we'll wait we'll wait on we'll wait on that. But anyway, yeah, uh, I don't know who was <laughs> next, but we'll do. Well, how about Donnie? What are you going to be working on? I have no idea. I've been cleaning my desk off, making room for this big box. It looks nice. Oh, uh, all right. We'll get to the mail call in a second. Uh, how about Buck? <laughs> that plane does. That plane looks either really small. Or the bus is really big. Is that Walter, the big UV BW bus? This is the uh, one sixteen. Uh, yeah, one sixteen. And the Reveal yeah. one. Yes. It's nice. It's one that I started. I started it roughly the same time I started the uh, Samba. I think from, you started it yeah. a little before, didn't you? No, I started them about the same time. This one should be done tonight, and I started this plane last Friday <laughs> on the stream. Are you going to finish it tonight? Which one are you working on? Both. <laughs> oh, okay. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because the only thing that I've got four windows to put on here. And decal, Dave. And this will be Hold done. on, Dave. We'll let you in in a minute. Dave, not here. <laughs> and then this huh. is just trim and decals. And I'm not going to glue the sunroof in because I like the idea of being able to swap it. Yeah. And anybody who has not seen this before, the door's open. Are there windows uh, in there? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> no, yes. Yeah, they're maybe they're just very, here. very clean. They're, they're very clean windows. It's the clearest <laughs> clear polystyrene I've ever seen. Have you put it up at next year at Samba Van yet to see if it's exactly half scale to it? Not yet. Oh, okay. But when they go into the uh, into the display room, <clears throat> they will be sitting right next to each other. Or this may it'll stop. probably fit in the seat of the other one. Yeah, you just no. put it in the back. A little mini it's, one inside of it. It's not quite. Uh, the other one's not quite big enough. It can be the toy version. You know, people have made the like the little quarter scale ones that people drive around. They sit inside mm. them. Hang on. Let's see. Uh-oh. Here we go. Uh-oh. Here we go. <laughs> Whatever. I'm strapped in. Yeah, see, it won't... It won't Hang fit. on. That's just the roof. Right. It won't fit left to right, and it won't... It would fit inside, but I'd have to take out seats. Mm. Uh, well, make the oh. seats removable. And make that roof removable. Making the seats removable would be a, a royal pain at this point because they're screwed down and the two halves of the uh, <laughs> chassis are screwed together. Ah, uh -huh. all right. Mm, he says, okay. well, let's keep moving. Let's keep moving. Who's next? Uh, Ian? Oh, hey. <laughs> How you doing? Yeah, there we go. I'm uh, <laughs> working on the shuttle, uh, Tidarium, 
And uh, I'm going to start trying to learn how to uh, oil wash, stain, weather, etc. Well, the, Dave uh, will teach you, and he's here, so we'll let him in a second. The, uh, with the abut lung paints. Yeah. I have a tube of that. But I'm <laughs> trying to find a palette to use. This and is hard. I, I, well, I found something I haven't touched Cardboard. in years. was a sheet of proper three millimeter thick real carbon fiber. And oh, I'm like, oh, this is... Total, that's a waste. So a piece of carbon Carb fiber, but okay. Cardboard works better because it's it sucks the oil out of the paint. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, I got to find... Okay, I, I got to find a palette. But yeah, I'm going to yeah. do the dots and the the, the smearing thing. Oh, yeah, you I know, can't wait it, to see this. Schmutz. Smearing works on bagels for me, so <laughs> it'll probably work on a model kit, I guess. Let's see if you can make it look as easy as Dave did because I completely failed at making it look as easy as Dave. Well, yeah, here, well... Here, I'm going to let Dave in. Yeah, let's let Dave in. Let's... So he can he can tell you how all the ways you're doing it wrong. <laughs> well, who who big me again? Well, because we. Cause, oh well, yeah, I you were uh, yeah. Talking. Well, I mean a pallet, but yeah, I got to find a pallet. I I don't know. I got pieces of plastic, and I got I got this nice sheet of carbon fiber. Dave, what do you think? Uh, expensive sheet of carbon fiber as a uh, paint pallet? Um, I think. What a waste. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know why you'd want that as a paint palette. To be, I fair. can always wash it off when I'm done. Yeah, but you, yeah, if I ever but need the get... carbon fiber, I can just flip it over. I'll use the ugly side. There we uh, go. So like I said, for, for the oil paints, the the cardboard will, will pull some of the oil out. Yeah, yeah, cardboard. Yep, I actually cut up a bunch of cardboard to have it in a box specifically for that. Well, cardboard attracts cockroaches in Georgia, so I had to throw all mine out on Wednesday for recycling day. So go uh, to your front door where you left your box of crap that came in today and cut one up. I didn't get a box of crap today. What? Can you just strip your cardboard box. Jesus. You're not did, trying hard enough. I did not get a box of crap. This is the only day I did not get a box of crap. I have oh. a big giant box over here. You want me to send it to you? Yeah, right. I have the box too. Yeah, uh, no, I ain't gonna. All right, we're done. Another... Uh, I'm going to be Bye. working on Law Ferrari. Uh, um, I have I have three months of the Law Ferrari to do, so I'm going to be working on it all night. Uh, in three months, of, three months of Law Ferrari. Of, he'll get plenty of talking in. Don't worry, Ian will, Ian will be able to do it. So we're going wow, to before you put the the body panels on that thing. It looks like a bug. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so we're going to get the windshield. I think we do the doors. I, we I don't know. There's a bunch of stuff. So. We'll see how that goes. And then, last but not least, Dave, what are you working on tonight? Uh, I'm working on the Sherman. So forgive me, I was just getting my uh, workbench ready here because this morning I was taking pictures Is that of the Millennium Falcon. Is a full throttle you're drinking? So... No. What is it? It is Troganator. What the? What? <laughs> it's made from Trogues, which is in Hershey, Pennsylvania. Trogues is good beer. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hey Richard. hey, Richard. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I was actually taking photos this morning, uh, but I'll be working on the Sherman. So I have the turret pretty well done, plastic and photo etch wise. So I'm going to be working on the uh, the hull. So lots of work to do there with uh, plastic and photo etch. Donnie, a racer needs you to paint his minis so they don't look Asian, apparently. Hey, if I, if I build a tank, he can paint the tank for me, and I'll paint the minis for him. There you go. Dave said that's awesome. Our racer said it. Sorry. All right. Do we want to do a mail call? Bah, might as well, guys. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be quick. I already have my. I already. I already have my Falcon. It's already here. It's already been in the box. I pulled the mat, the uh, instruction manual out, so I could scan it into a PDF that I've been sharing with everybody uh, in a very high res digital format. So the first 20 pages are done. I will do the other 37 some other time. Uh, because we have our, our – everybody pull your box up because on Wednesday, starting the box. Week, oh, jeez. Yeah. Uh, starting this week, <laughs> we box. are going to do a group build at 7 p.m. Eastern uh, for the uh -oh. uh, the Bandai Perfect Grade Millennium <laughs> Falcon, 170 second scale. Everybody's got a copy of it. Not everybody. Uh, well, Buck doesn't have one. Dave. You don't Dave's have a Bandai oh, Falcon, Buck? Nope. Of all your stuff in your stash, that's the one thing you don't have. Well, <coughs> how? so it's a 170-second scale. How long is it when it's done? 
Uh, what is it, 19 inches? Something like that? It'll be it's half the size of your Diagostini Falcon. Yes. And I couldn't see you spending that kind of money for that small a mop. Yeah. Um, Are you kidding? Price you per inch. three times as much for twice as much model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, You're right. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> well, scale scales. It's, 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 it's volume squared. And there's the sixth guy. There he Seventh is. now. Yeah, no, I mean, it's extreme. But. So there's going to be six of us building this. It's me and Donnie, Dave and Jordan, uh, Ian and Steve there. And it looks like I'm, he has an on his prime leg. We're all going to be building Steve. the Falcon starting Wednesday, this Wednesday at 7 p.m. Eastern. We'll do it about two hours a week, and we'll just see how far we go. All right, okay, there so we go. Let me, let, me have... answer, let me answer, Racer. <laughs> Everybody drink first. Oh, hey, sir, oh. it's four hundred dollars at oh. Andy's oh. Hobby Headquarters. If he still got it in stock, sometimes oh, oh. It's he does. Drink. He still has it. We have to drink. Yep. Where's my? I checked. He still has it. There we go. Um, it's it's sometimes it's on scale at three or it's on sale for three fifty. But if you try to get it anywhere else, it's like what five six hundred. Oh yeah. Yep. Or yeah, it's stupid expensive. Well, well, unless you catch other range. places when they first get their stock in. I was in the hobby store today and it was six fifty. Listen, I'll, okay. I'm gonna I keep going because I have my stuff right here. I this is for my Diagostini Falcon, but I have little barrels for the the uh <coughs> I, I got some shapeways, little barrels. Cargo hold car, cargo hold. Um cool. I actually ordered a whole set of boxes and crates and all sorts of stuff, and then they canceled my order. Because oh, they, said nice. it, they said it wasn't printable. And so they went back to the guy that designed it, which I'm pretty sure this was a uh, uh, dark fire, and he didn't answer. And so they just canceled my work. So, so I got Steve that. could print it. Fun fact well, about the perfect the grade: answer. the perfect grade Falcon box and the perfect grade Gundam box is exactly the same size. That, well, wow. it makes it easier for shipping. Probably the same box, just different printing on it. No, they're different size boxes. Oh, I'm telling you, I'm holding them together. They're two oh, for the shape. unicorn, right? The unicorn. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that's got that's got a wider, that's got a girthier box. Yeah, yeah. that is the same size. You're right. Um, uh, and, and then there was one hobby shop that actually sold the perfect grade at MSRP of like four twenty nine. Sidetracked. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I saw Other that. Towns? You got a leg to stand on. Racer says that for all the kids. No, that's a whole model. That's four hundred bucks buys the whole box. Okay, yeah. Oh, he's the talking about the Diagostini one. Oh, the Diagostini. Oh, no. no, that's, that's like no, a million Diag dollars. The, the Diagostini kit is a, it's like eighteen hundred dollars. Uh, the other thing that came was I bought these little. Uh, I, I love these little these little squeeze clamps. Uh, oh, those are cool. Yeah, so those I got are... these little squeeze. How clamps. many did you get? Uh, like ten or something. Oh, you got um, half as many as you need. Yeah. So, oh, and this, this, that's China, China for you. That that ratcheting doesn't work. Oh, there it goes. Um, just it's for clamping parts together as I'm gluing. So I, I just got a, a bunch of little four inch guys. This little, yeah. this little small one. Uh, those um, are very handy. And then I got a box from AZ Toy Hobby. I'm pretty sure this is. Where's my great squad? I'm gonna cut myself. Um, I'm pretty sure this is just gray Mr. Finisher. My new no, type box should... was also supposed to show up today with all my little tools. So you should but... always open the box before the stream to make sure it's nothing embarrassing. What? What, yeah, what if thinking? there was? What if there was an adult pleasuring toy in there? A That's hobby dildo. What I said. <laughs> so anyway, this is just this is just three cans of uh, Mister Finishing fifteen hundred in gray. Uh, That's why I have it ready to go. If there was like twenty pairs of like pantyhose in there or something. So, right. Racer, the Diag, D the Diag is one kit a month or so, while the uh, Perfect Grade that they've got is just a single box. And I, I keep looking at this thing, and every time I look at it, the description, I go, no glued required. Wow. Technically. <laughs> technically. Yeah, there's uh, from what I understand, there's a couple little pipes and stuff that might be loose, and you have to glue them, but for the 99% of it is just snap together. Yeah, asterisk. <laughs> Yes, yeah, sorry. <laughs> hey, Hammer. Howdy, uh, Hammer. What, what, let's get, let's get, because he came in late. Steve, what are you working on tonight? Besides uh, drinking a a McDonald's cup. He's digesting a double quarter pounder Big Mac, apparently. Right. <laughs> um, I am going to, if I can find it. <laughs> McDonald's. Yeah, what's it's, that about? It's an anime thing, Steve. <laughs> 
anime well, movies chopped along the side here. Well, well, the anime movies in Japan will put a fake McDonald's in the anime, but they'll turn the McDonald's sign upside down and make it a Wickdonald's. So McDonald's, instead of suing them for trademark infringement, were like, you know what? Let's roll with it. And they have it all over the bags, too, now. It's like a whole anime cartoon cell covering the entire bag. And they have some sriracha special spicy Ooh. nugget sauce now. Oh. And they say the sauce is sweet and hot and brings tears of joy to me on the bag. And it's just like the most broken right. English. Yeah. yeah. We just got McDonald's uh, this morning for breakfast after my wife's LASIK. My wife. What? What? In answer to your question, Todd, I'm going to start putting together the uh, oh. RQD2. Oh, the RQ, wait, R5? The RQ5. Yeah, I, I never get that right, Steve. Nice. I've got well, like R2 dyslexia. The big one or the little one? The little one. Excellent. That's what I've been waiting for. Oh, the one you're rebuilding from the. Yeah, I am. Um, yeah. The, the, the one to one, I have put that on hold because I want to use the Com Grove for that. I want to reprint the dome all in one shot. So. The Congrove's being assembled now. I have a video out in that soon. And then we'll be able to print with that. And now, have you already painted the other colors on it, or is it just all black right now? It's still, as you saw it last time, it's just all welded together. And No, 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 know, no, the little one that you're going to do. You know, we all hate sanding. No matter what kind of maker you are, sanding's just horrible. Um, yes. Unless you've got some kind of mental disease. But I want to, uh, I want to eliminate all that sanding, so I figure if I can... Print it all in one shot. The only thing I would really do is just smooth any layer, lay lines down, lay down some filler primer or whatever. It'll just cut down on the work. No, um, what what I, what I meant was is on the on the Diagostini Falcon or the Diagostini R2, the one you're going to build tonight. Have you yeah. done all the, the silver and copper? Or are you doing that? No, 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 no. I've just got the black. And then what I'm going to do is once it's all together, whatever's got to be copper, I'll just mask that off and I'll shoot that uh, whatever color that needs to be, which is going to be. Bay Harbor Copper is what I figured out. Which, what it which is. is the GM color that you saw and you loved. Yep, I saw it on... And Well, I couldn't find that color on GM, but I did find a neat-looking copper <laughs> one of little card. I don't know what nice. it was. And then I started... I backed into it. Sherman Williams had it for a room color, but, you know, I don't want that kind of paint. But then I realized a lot of different people had... Bay Harbor Copper, and I actually found um, somebody makes a Bay Harbor copy for the Chevy, uh, you know, as a touch-up or whatever, and it looks like it'll fit perfect. So that was a long answer to a short question. Thanks. Now, let me see if I can go find my... Uh, so you can use a latex paint color that was made in lacquer, I guess? Well, no, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spray... Um, the spray touch up for cars is what I'm going to be getting. I okay. think it sure doesn't hurt the plastic. Well, well yeah, a base I, coat. I, I got to figure out how I'm. I'll do some tests or something, but uh, I'm going to see if I can actually get it matched, maybe in a model color. But none of the yeah. none of the toppers I found from Tamiya. Well, if it's a car paint, it's probably enamel anyway. Yeah, that's what I would think. So. Yeah, I just I, sometimes those can be have pretty brutal solvents in them. I just mm -hmm. wanted to hurt your plastic. So yeah, they're very. Right, hot. Let me catch up real quick. Sam's here. Hey, Sam. Hey, hey Sam. Sam. Howdy. Hope everything. Hope everything under the under the equator is doing well down there. It's probably like tomorrow already. <laughs> they they know our lotto numbers before they come out. Apparently, according to I, some girl on TikTok. God, I feel like I feel like they've heard that joke a million times. Yeah, hey, I know. Gordon. Hey, <laughs> Gordon. What's up, buddy? <laughs> if they know the future, why can't they tell us the winning lottery numbers? All right, let's go back to this. Uh, so I only I, got one measly thing in David, today. D D Dave, what are, you, what are you doing? I have the, well, I was doing show and tell while, well, getting ready to, while you guys are going through everything. So, because there was questions about the size and whatnot. So I have my camera way up off my workbench, probably about three feet now. And this here is the Diagostini Falcon one-to-one -one, uh, blueprint. So this is how big it'll be when it's done. So this is from pack one. 
you can see how it fits in there. So that's how big. I mean, we heard that. That wasn't me. I know. It wasn't me. What happened? <laughs> but you can see how big how big this is. I think what's the what's the size? Is it like thirty one or thirty two inches? Forty eight or something like that. Oh, it's one. It's one forty third scale. One forty third. Yeah, which is a weird scale, but it just this is how big it is. It's my whole entire workbench. Um, and then this is the one seventy second scale, just parked center. I'll center it here so you can see the difference. It's backwards. Now it's upside is, down and backwards. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. There we go. Huzzah! <laughs> <laughs> She's a wee lass, isn't she? It's it, it is it's much smaller, but to what the guys were saying, I only got two parts of this so far, two packs I should say. I had the second pack sitting here, but this you get all at once. And it is a quarter of the price and you get it all at once. And I mean, you can still paint that. This comes pre-painted, but it doesn't look as good as what you can make it look. But they literally tell you in the advertisements that you can paint this up how you want, which is nice. So just definitely two different options here for you. Well, further on in the build, having built that, they will tell you how to paint it. Yes. Correct. And how to weather it and all that other good stuff. Well, I need to find a way to see all the pictures that I have of the Falcon are from empire and the they're not going to be any good for the pg falcon because that's Why the not? new hope falcon and they're quite different no there's quite a bit difference um um when i built it there was also a guy it, it there was an article in there about how a guy built his own jig to put that thing on so he could paint it i believe it that's insane <laughs> Yes. All right. Uh, let Mail me, call? Uh, I got a... Uh, yeah, what, so, did you get your... I your, literally your, just got water slide your, decals for the sensor bands for the refit Enterprise from <laughs> uh, my local guy. Did he deliver them local? Did he deliver them directly to you? Yeah, he also brought me the pizza and the beer I asked for. No, he mailed them. I wasn't driving over there for a set of $17 decals. But yeah, sensor bands because mine will be gone by the time I finish that saucer. <clears throat> Why? Uh, because I, I you have to do so much sanding and filling and <laughs> oh god, yeah. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna decal on the sensor bands at the end. That's that. Donnie, Donnie, Ian has a brand new Makita belt sander he has to try out. Oh, oh, that, I wish true. they had a battery-powered belt sander by now. <laughs> I'm still waiting for my pliers to show up from the Ukraine. Makita pliers from the Ukraine. Okay, great. Yep. That's oh, look legit. What Dave has. Look what Dave has. Oh, yeah, there's a photo. Ooh. Ooh, nice. Yeah, so oh, I was I like... That too. So I was only expecting the perfect grades to show up today, and when I picked up the <laughs> box, I'm like, holy crap, there's a lot in there. And then I realized all my DX stuff came too. It's so. rather heavy. Yeah, so this is the uh, this is the perfect grade set, Don't know. Yes. right? And then we have um, I, I got four of the sets. So this is the uh, the hold Car for hold, issues yep. seven through fourteen, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I, I do like that they actually tell you what issues it goes with too. I, I actually really like that. Um, I I have to go back and redo issues one through seven. Well, actually, I have uh, what. Like issues three through seven, so this is perfect timing to start the cockpit. And then I got the corridors for uh, issues twenty-three through twenty-eight, and the last one I got was the gun ports forty-one through forty-four. So, ooh, that's a whole yeah, lot of, of brass. Then, then you too get to you too get to make something like this. You lucky devil, you. Okay. Yeah, that is really pretty. Well, and I do have the Falcon 3D parts I ordered, too. I just, they're not obviously in yet, but I got the board with the, the soundboard with the engine. 
uh, I think it was like 58 LED engine. I got the LED set up for the cockpit and everything. So I think these will pair really well with that. Yeah, I'm trying to trying to make the try to make this work. That's my thing. I I just think it's funny on this photo etch for the Bandai Falcon. They make the door so you can cut the door open if you want to. They even give you the floor for the hallway behind. We don't that's, give you any of the walls or anything. That's it's because all, you have to go on shapeways and get them. Yeah, there's age 3D of, printed of, parts for the hallway. It's from uh, Age of Plastic. Yeah, and they're I like $90. I have, it, I, have I have it on the oh, way. forget notes. that. Yeah. Yeah, the Carter is like $88 and change, plus Shapeways processing and shipping fees. I was about to order them, and I'm like, oh, they won't be here in time anyway, and the first part we got to work on is a cockpit, so F it. Yeah. <clears throat> you yeah, don't have to build other... it and order the instructions. You can build it any way you want. Oh, I don't know. Don't, don't, don't be a bad influence, Todd. My wife already doesn't like you. Ah! <laughs> Uh, I'm not sorry. Uh, like, why do what, what? What's this? I don't know. Todd told me to buy it. What's this? <laughs> well, Todd had one that looked cool. What's well, this? That, Todd. That's what. That's what really happened. Mm -hmm. What's I, this? I get something. He's like, well, you can't have it, and I don't. Todd got it, and I thought it was awesome. Yeah. What's this? I don't know. Dave got it. She's like, what are these paints? I'm like, Dave bought them. I had to get them. <laughs> <laughs> That has What's been my this? entire world for the last couple of weeks. My God. You're welcome. You're well, welcome. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. I welcome can't to my wait. world. I can't wait until those uh, pliers show up and she's like, what's this? And you're like, um... No, no, she won't ask that question. She'll see the Makita logo and be like, oh, nice. <laughs> she likes teal. Uh... It's the same color as Tiffany bags. She's fine with teal. No, she doesn't question the, the teal logo, and she'll just go, "Really? More?" No. When she sees a Makita logo or teal show up, she's like, "That's fine. I'll ask him to do something now." Oh, I see. Is that what it is? You owe me. Now when tools show up, yeah, yeah. That's why the vacuum <laughs> cleaner. I bought her a Ryobi. This way, she vacuums instead of me. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I was like, sorry, honey, it's a Ryobi. You got to use that thing. Uh -oh. I'll swap the batteries on it for you because you never bother to swap them out. But that's fine. I have like two high cap batteries and a charger for her. And I'm like, honey, when the battery's like reading one out of four bars, just pull this out and put it in the chart. Take the one out of the charger, put it in the vacuum. Never does it. Never does it. Always a dead vacuum. It's too technical. All right, I'm going to catch up on chat here. Sam said it's already tomorrow at 12, 1 20 in the morning, Saturday <laughs> in the afternoon. Hammer says, how do you guys thin non-scale acrylic paint? I tried thinning with some airbrush cleaner and kind oh. of chunky instead of thinner. No, alcohol will F up water-based acrylic paint. Yes. You got to use put... basically water. Water. Yeah. 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 Just thinning with water. Water, water. might be a little flow. If you, have, if you have like filtered water that comes out of a, a fridge or something like that or a bottle, that, that's fine. Yeah, problem glycol, you could add a drop or two to the water, you know, which is basically, I think, what acrylic thinner is. Um, no, they, yeah, the, the only to me is you want to use a, a IPA with, because <clears> they <throat> have an alcohol base. Yeah. Propylene glycol is antifreeze. That is yeah, I know. It's also what Whoa. Todd and me are vaping right now. Hammer, did you get your <laughs> airbrushes today? I'm assuming he's still there. I sent him those airbrushes. Oh, sure nice. Got them. Yep, so Based on sure what Richard them. said. Yeah, let me keep Ian. going here. Uh, thumbs up, everybody. Uh, go ahead. Bezos is Ian's fault. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Richard, you know, it happens. We're, no one's immune to the Amazon no. virus. God. And then he says the pick and place tool is everyone here's fault. That I, I will take full responsibility no, for. That's totally Todd's fault. Yes. <laughs> uh, I haven't best, used it once, but I own it. The, the best pick and place tool is right here. Blue tack on a toothpick. Oh, I thought you were gonna just show us your fingers. No, no, no. Those aren't the greatest for no, they're good for picking, not placing. 
Picking, picking your nose. <laughs> I mean, picking um, photo etch. But sure, <laughs> it's good for that too. Toe jam. Toe jam's good. Oh. You can pick your friends it, it, and you can pick it, your nose. If you had a band, yeah. Ian, that's the name you'd call it. Toe jam. Toe jam. Pro mm -hmm. Probably. If I was musical at all, besides, you know, from my rear end, yeah, I'd totally call it toe jam. <laughs> yeah, somebody ripped one earlier, and now it's always Ian's fault. So. It wasn't me this time. It doesn't matter. I heard it. <laughs> it was probably Jordan. He works at restaurants. He's, like, eating crap all the time in the kitchen. <laughs> Son of a bitch is just downing onion rings randomly throughout the night. It doesn't and matter. It's always your fault. If I had onion rings, that'd be so nice. Oh, you're at a pizza place. I forget. You're calamari, mozzarella sticks. Yeah, no, no deep fryers, man. Throw an extra one in the back for me. <laughs> oh boy, this is some thick paint. No deep so, fryers. So just a piece no of cardboard fryers. for the paint. Not my cool carbon fiber palette idea. Cardboard works better for oil paint. Ugh, I hate you. The carbon fiber would have been more dramatic. Uh, I mean, you can do it. It'll work. How many paintbrushes do I need? This model making guru guy said I needed a different paintbrush for each color. Uh, I, I ordered like eight paintbrushes today. Oh my god! Of course right. you did. Let me go. Just in case, just in case these aren't enough. Uh, oh, I have go, a ton, and I, I go I through my couple. pile of brushes and see what I got. These, these, these are, are the throwaways. These are the ones you just throw away because yeah. they're junk. I have two more. No, yeah. three more cups like this. Yeah, let's see. Garbage brush. Nope, that's... Hammer says, was trying to paint the interior of the Mustang was having trouble fitting the paint to get it to float. Were you airbrushing or were you, were you uh, paintbrushing? Which were you doing? Yeah, paint to be fair, the answer is going to be the same. You're, you're still going to use water to thin them down regardless. Right, but the but if you're going to... it's a pay like Tamiya, if you're gonna brush paint Tamiya, it airbrush is great. But if you're gonna he brush is, paint it, you gotta put the paint. Re he's using a Amazon acrylic. Like it's, a, it's one of the knockoff. It's I don't know what even know what the brand is. Okay, yeah, he's using the airbrushes that I. Yeah, I, you just have to thin it down with water hammer. Um, I don't know those paints to be able to say how thin to, to thin them, but. Essentially, you want to make it look like um, milk, like thin milk. Two percent. Yeah, two percent. Yeah, that's sure. true. <clears throat> that's almost a good brush. I'll keep that one in reserve. That's a terrible brush. There's so I changed a brush. setting that I didn't even know we had, by the way. Me. In stream yards. Now, when we put chat up, it doesn't squish everybody. Oh, look wow. at that! We got a nice overlay. Yeah. No, it's, it sits on top of Dave, but that's okay. Yeah, uh, that's fine. I didn't realize yeah. that was even possible. Nobody I puts Dave in a corner. Did I? I didn't know that was a thing, <laughs> but now we do. We can put Ian in that corner. <clears throat> no, no, I don't fit. I'm too fat. No, he is good in the corner he's at. <laughs> I like where he's at over there. Yeah, keep me oh, away from there. Over there. Our images are not touching. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do, Steve. Do -do -do. Do -do -do. Steve's oh not tickling me and give up. He, he doesn't realize what I'm doing. Hey, hey Don. <laughs> Steve's being yeah. violated by Ian and he doesn't even know it. <laughs> Steve <laughs> meets Donnie. What are you in a New Jersey turnpike restroom? <laughs> <laughs> oh. uh, that was a good one. That was quite on point. <laughs> Been in many. Donnie, accurate. Did, was there like a magazine for issue two of the R two? I have them all. In I don't I have them know, all in but I can find out in just a minute. I have them all, all in right. digital, Steve. If you need them. See, I still have that here. If you need it too. Yeah, I have my magazines right down here in the box. Uh, so, so in all seriousness, when I said this day that I was looking at the DeLorean, I was watching Ian's videos for the DeLorean, and then I got the email from Fan Home saying R2 is delayed. I was like, uh, mm, nope, that's where that stops. I'm not going down that rabbit hole. <clears throat> it's uh, logistics yes, there issues. Was, Steve. I know, time? but I was like, man, that does look so cool, that DeLorean. 
Okay, yeah, there is. Here it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't Logistics. Know you... And then I saw your giant box in episode one you got from Mike Lane and then model mods, and I was like, oh, God, 50% off is still a lot of money. Oh, yeah, I bought a lot of those mods when Eagle Moss went bankrupt. So, like, they were st th th discounted. <laughs> I'm not going to say they were super cheap. They were discounted. Yeah, I was looking at all the prices in pounds sterling, and I'm like, I know that's more in dollars. So, oh yes, nope. yes, nope. they're not the euro. The euro is like almost even dollar for euro now. I think what I saw was uh, you were talking about the little miniature uh, wire ties. Oh yeah, those those are great. They're also super expensive for what yeah. they are—a sheet of die-cut plastic. T tell it, Dave how much you enjoy putting them on, too, Ian. Oh, yo, those were so fun, Dave. Oh, you would have loved it. Mm-hmm. I almost picked them up. I was like, uh-uh. Yeah, but did you see what it recommended for that build? It was five packs. Oh, that's yeah, over, I know. That's over $100 in wire ties. I was like, what? Yes, and I, I bought them. <laughs> well, you got them at fifty percent off. So, I, well, yeah, that is true. That is true. They were, yeah. Most of my mods at that moment were were half off. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of lo well, none of my Ecto one mods were half off. Let's just put it that way. Except for the 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 handful of things that Todd sent me for free, which I appreciate. <laughs> Everything else for that was. Uh, Horrifically expensive. <laughs> like what? disturbingly expensive. Your roof Kurt rack wasn't that bad. If if uh, the okay, option parts that I added to the Ecto cost as much or more than an entire Ecto. Herb says, hey, guys, has, any, has anyone purchased the Chariot by Mobius? He purchased one of the animals. Oh, the no, but I've been look. looking at it. It looks That's cool. a nice one. Uh, you can get he that at Cult TV, man. Can I finish saying it? Sorry. What's, what's the Chariot? He says he found the tire stuck in to the plastic body. Oh, oh, duh. Oh, my gosh. I feel stupid. Stuck to the plastic. Oh, dear God. Call, where'd you order it from, uh, Curb? Because if you ordered it from Cult TV Man, uh, he's like big with that company. He could he'll he'll take care of it, and Mobius will probably take care of it too. Honestly, they're a smaller company, which means they have human beings answering the phones that like aren't robots from overseas. And then Hammer nope. says he put the paints that he has in general chat of Discord. Oh, I can look at that. We can look at that. I'm so intimidated to even touch these oil paints. Let's Go see, for it, Ian. Chat. Yeah, I'm looking. Acryl okay, airbrush paint set, 28 colors, airbrush paint, water-based acrylic. Visit site. I'll assume it's safe. Let's see. Uh, those are the most generic air quotes, air airbrush paint I think I've ever seen. Well, it yeah, says water-based acrylic, so I'm going to yeah. thin it with water. Yeah, yeah, I would just, yeah, thin it with water. Oh, yeah, look, it's on a little girl's hands in one of the photos. That's definitely not solvent-based. Uh, oh, well, <laughs> it, at least it's inferred by the photos of a little girl rubbing well, her hands and, in it. And it actually says water-based. Yeah. Strong coverage, quick drying on your daughter's hands. Let's see. You never finger painted, finger painted when you were a kid, Ian. You know that my parents tricked no, me into you, taking you baths. It, you had it right the first time. He got fingerprinted. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> if anyone, Buck and Steve, will probably know this reference. My parents used to sell Amway when I was a kid. Mine too. And, yeah, I've heard of Amway. Yeah, and uh, they had basically a floating paint palette, so it was made out of like. I guess like, you know, soft boogie board foam and it would have all these paint cups in it. But the paint cups, they looked like paint cups, but they were actually soap. And it was a kid's like paint soap set. 
And they'd be like, go ahead and just paint yourself everywhere with paint in the bathtub. Meanwhile, they tricked us because it was soap, and they got us to wash ourselves so they could just sit there drinking a cup of coffee. Um, but yeah, the Amway hey, if it works. paint palette body soap or body paint soap, whatever the hell. It was a it, novel concept, but uh, yeah, I'd say just thin that paint with water, Hammer. If you want to be fancy, you could get like distilled oh. water from the supermarket. Yeah. Just use tap water. It's all right. No. <laughs> Gonna be fancy. Whoa, distilled water. No, nope, I used tap water all the time. No, run it through the Brita. <laughs> no, yeah, just just water. Any water. Hose water. Well, unless Salt you water. have like uh water with a lot of limestone or something in it, then it might Yeah, I mean if you have really scaly water, and then we got uh what do we got here, Curb? Purchase from a friend that sells kits. Gonna send an email to Mobius and see if I can get replacement parts. I haven't found any problems with the tires. Yeah, I mean, Mobius hopefully will uh, take care of that. Or at the worst, they might ask you to pay for shipping for the part. Huh. I would or, think that they would. Yeah. All right, I'm putting my first I've paint never on really account. dealt with Mobius, but I would think they'd take care of it. I mean... My first There's, resin didn't go too bad. They're a smaller company, but the code checks out. Did you, uh, oh, did you, did you have to knock resin out of that one, or was that one of the empty ones I sent you? One of the empty ones. Okay, yeah, because you could also just knock the resin out of the windows of any ones that have resin already with a flathead yeah. mini screwdriver. Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, this with your weed. did with, not turn bad, how bad at all. Crap. Yeah, oh, crap. with your Viha that you bought on Amazon. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Um, yeah, Is did the, you do uh, the Todd system of popping all the air bubbles with a toothpick? Yeah, I'm only seeing one that I missed, actually. I'm really surprised. Yeah, that oh, one no. is the one that will is haunt the, your dreams. Uh, Mr. Resin about the same thickness as the Solar Res? That's what Depend. everyone has said, and so far, so good. I was able to pour it really nice and easily into there. Donnie, Mr. Resin has multiple viscosity options. They have thin, medium, and thick. Well, so does Solar Res, but... Yeah, they have... So, um... I have... Which I picked up I the uh, low viscosity. The Solar Res was going to be, like, like three weeks for shipping from everywhere I was looking, so I just picked this so, up. I didn't so it's... Away. Yeah, I have low and medium. I was going to say, when, when I've tried to put resin in windows with the Solar Res, I found it easier to put the bottle in a bowl of hot water. Yeah, warm it up. It'll warm it up. It thins it, makes it flow better. And sometimes you don't even have any bubbles at all. Yeah, there's. A, I only had to pick out a few, and I only missed one. And I was able to pour this really nice and clean. It's actually a warm day here today. so. Engine grease. You should use wow. Todd's Shadow favorite brand. method, which is get a uh, vacuum pump. Oh my god! Uh -huh. Oh god, that was hilarious. <laughs> that was an awesome. That was an awesome waste of money. Yeah, that was epic. And I tried to return it, and I couldn't. <laughs> what? Because it set. Because I, 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 when I received it, I said, "Well, I'm not ready to use this yet," and it sat next to my desk for uh, oh, 31 ooh. days, a month and a half. And oh, by yeah. the time I could send it back, it was past the return date. I'm like, uh oh. You could send it to me. What are you Did you do? ever try to use it? Why does it feel like Were you not on the stream when Todd tried to use the vacuum chamber? I don't remember it. It wasn't the right tool for the job. Let's just say that. <laughs> it worked. but Some bubbles, uh, well, some bubbles came out, and then and he, he took the vacuum off. Big bubbles showed up. And then all the bubbles got huge. It was meant for, like, really large-scale resin pours into a cast. It wasn't meant for what we, Todd was trying to use it for, was doing the little windows. Maybe he just didn't pull enough vacuum on it. Oh, I did. More no, vacuum! He, no, he, he, he pulled did. vacuum. He, he suck hard enough, yeah? Yeah. I, I sucked as hard as I could. Yeah, he put a McDonald's straw on that thing and pretended it was going to beat him. I wicked Donald it all the way. He wicked Donald it. Uh -huh. Yeah, Todd. I've never seen Tox Todd suck so hard in his life. Oh my god! Good lord. Well, his vacuum pump. Mm-hmm. 
But uh, yeah, I mean, it had it did what it was supposed to do, sorta. I think it was not meant for the scale. Sorta. Well, the thing is, it wasn't meant for the tiny scale of the size of the pores. It was meant for like it when you're really pouring, matter, though, because the idea is for it to expand the bubbles and for them to pop. Yeah, well, the problem is, I think the the amount of resin in the little window openings was so tiny that it couldn't beat the surface tension with the bubble pressure. I don't know, whatever. You know what I mean? It wasn't. It didn't work. That's all. It just didn't work. Yeah, if Todd, if Todd had been in the vacuum to poke it with the uh, toothpick, it might have worked. That would have worked great. <laughs> until until he passed out. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah, hammer. That's fine. That's what I mean. Just, just, just some, just some filtered water is fine. Oil paint for the first time. Let's see here. I just kind of tiny, tiny bit of oil paint for each streak. Tiny. Tiny. I'm doing what the I'm doing what the guru did. Smaller than that. I'm just do I'm just doing dots. That's just, too much. Just throw it on. You can't screw it up. Yeah, exactly. You can wipe wipe it all off, basically, with the thinner. Oh, are you kidding me? Ian, Ian will find a way. No. Yeah, I, I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, if, that, it, Ian? if it can be screwed up, I, I will screw it up. That's fair. So, yeah. There's that. It's... I squirted out way too much oil paint on this palette. I don't need this much. I am glad you finished that sentence. <laughs> Oh. Uh, let's see. Uh, he said that sentence was finished. Uh, what was, what, uh, what's going on here? Well, he he went far enough that it was not gross a anymore. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, here, here, here. Uh, the the weird thing about oil paints is it doesn't look like you expect it first. You got to kind of work it into the. Got to work it, work it, girl. You got to work it. Well, the only problem I was having was I must have been leaving a little too much thinner on the brush or something. Oh, yeah. And it was yeah. like almost taking all of it off. Yep. You want to have your brush just damp with it. Like you dip it in the thinner and you wipe your brush on a, on a napkin or something. Yeah, I was doing that, but I think the napkin was getting saturated or something. That could have been it. Uh, the other thing is you maybe you did not use enough oil or maybe it was too wet yet, like oily. If it didn't drain off. Well, it hadn't been draining for very long because I, I put the oil paint on the cardboard during the stream and then just started doing it. So. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, what the hell just happened? Save the pieces. My cat just jumped up on the workbench. Oh. <laughs> say yeah, emoji or Soji? Soji. Right. Wow. Okay. Yeah. You need to set up a camera. Pointing at wherever you display your models. A cat cam. <laughs> yeah. And have it, have it running 24 7 because the, you're going to have models fly. Oh, yeah. And we all want to see a perfect grade Millennium Falcon really fly. No, no, no. no. We really don't. <laughs> and uh, it'll be, so no. that'll be, that'll be bad. I, I love my kitty, but nope. No, I think she was uh, attracted to the uh, UV light. I think she saw it and she was like, "Oh, what is that?" Oh, cats love UV light. So do dogs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they go There's crazy. It's like it might as well be a laser pointer. Anymore. Yeah. What happened? There was a car with UV headlights in your neighborhood. No. Cat getting in places it didn't need to be. Oh. Yeah. Well, that was quick. You know, you tell a dog what no happened, a couple Dave? times. That yeah, was Steve. What'd you, what you? What happened, Steve? And we're, I, I need the copper nail. You don't have it yet. No. Well, I'm about to go in and get some. Hey, Steve, <laughs> do we have the same keyboard? I, I, I don't know. Why well, you want to bond over that or? That. <laughs> <laughs> touch oh, keyboard, wow. shall we? Touching that keyboards. Was good. Uh, that was that funny. It was, was weird. Well, but are you funny. want to bond over that? <laughs> Poor yeah. Jordan. Yeah. He's just. You guys just left oh. Jordan hanging. It's okay. What happened, Jordan? You got the same keyboard too? 
Yeah. I'll what? Go ahead and, uh, I'll put that back up there. Oh, right. dear God, he does. What the hell? Does yeah, everybody just have this damn keyboard? No. <laughs> they're, they're pretty decent and they're cheap. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They are not bad. I have a Logitech keyboard, but not the same one. Same here. I, I got an RGB mechanical one, so mine's a lot. Oh, better. he's got the I fancy gamer. I have an RGB, board. but not mechanical. And then Part for of my uh, haul today was this. Uh, and then for the small computers, board. I just have this. Yeah, with the oh, with the trackpad. Yeah. Very nice. 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 Very nice. Mine won't stretch. I like. Corded. Oh, it's a razor. Okay, I'm on color six out of yeah, ten now. Mine is a it is a razor. Good old mechanical click. Yep. Love, I yeah, got the I Naga love mechanical keyboards. I, love I got my thing. my Naga to go with it. <sighs> with all the numpad on the at the thumb. The hell is oh geez. That that's for quick buttons. Gives me the edge. It's, it's virtual insanity. I think it's me and me. Oh, that's a poly cabinet. Oh, what are you looking for, Steve? Which paint? Copper. Uh, you're looking for copper in a rattle can? <laughs> Get a good lacquer copper. They make uh good. Steve, look at the, uh, they also have the, uh, they, what is it? The PS, uh, spray paint line is for polycarbonate, but the AS and the TS are both lacquers. AS is for aircraft normally. They might have a copper. I don't know. Hey, I saw, um, some extreme metals copper on sale on our friend in Arizona site the other day. Just saying. <laughs> Say it. Don't be scared. Oh, at Andrew's hobby headquarters. Uh oh, who's got feedback? Is it me? The only one with weird electronic devices in their room is probably Steve. He's probably no, got a ham radio power supply floating radio. around somewhere. I can Ian, use it. I just looked up and noticed that your shuttle has freckles. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. <clears throat> He's giving it an oil dot technique, it is super fancy. He's building the teenage Tidarium shuttle. I have no idea. <laughs> He's going streaking right now. There we go. So oh, wow. actually, an oil dot filter is not a streaking thing. You're actually blending all the colors together uh, to unify the colors of the model you're putting together. So that way, it, it's used more so when you have like multiple colors, like a camouflage. So they all blend together. But it also works for the whites and grays. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I have no clue what's happening you're, right now. You're doing an oil dot filter, and then when you once that's done, then you'll do your streaking because you can't do it the other way around, or else you'll wash your streaks out when you do your filter. Yes. Ian, yes. Please do not streak on the stream. On the stream. Oh, I'm totally streaking in a few minutes. By the way, every time Dave opens his mouth talking about paints, I find out that I don't know anything about painting anything. I don't need to be able to paint a house. Agreed. Now, the green, I'm actually trying to... I think I have a plan for the green, because that's... <laughs> the rain, that's going to be like the mildewy rain catches. Well, what it's going to do is... You're going to have all them colors kind of there, even if your eye you can't see them, your eyes do. So what will happen when you when you streak with all those colors, they're going to look like they all blend together but are slightly different, and they still fit because that filter has that color in it. Yeah, so I've it, seen it, it on just, the interwebs. Yeah, it makes it look more realistic. <clears throat> This looks horrible on camera, by the way. Oh, this it's looks... going... Yeah, it looks awful. And it will like, until you do it. This looks absolutely atrocious on camera. <laughs> That's why I said. It looks like it's got freckles. You know what it looks like? What's that flooring... Uh... Oh, damn. What was it called oh, again? Oh, yeah. Oh, that old From, stuff like, the that's... 60s. 
I yeah, the white about. flooring with the speckles in it that was polished mm -hmm. like marble. And yeah, like the garage like... floor covering. <laughs> and oh. it was like, wasn't it the sticky crap they put down? Too? No, 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 no. It was a real floor finish. It was... Uh, oh. You're it was... the same floors. No. It was. Yeah, you put the urethane down and you sprinkle the sprinkles on it. Yep. Yeah, I've seen people with garages that look like that. Yeah. yeah put it on with rollers. They pour um, it on and just lay it out with one rollers. Actually, no, I think my Terrazzo. Terrazzo flooring. I have no idea what that is. Yeah, Terrazzo. It was a, it was a big thing like uh, in the 50s and 60s and 70s. Uh, terrazzo flooring. It was Italian sounding, so it was exotic and cool. Terrazzo. They actually poured that floor. It was like a poured finish with some stuff in it. It was. Uh... Sure thing. It was popular in, actually in mid-century modern homes. Razo flooring. Okay, uh, my starship filth is the last one to go on. A little extra at the bottom there, some more at the top. Just start, just jamming it in there. I actually want to try what you're doing ian i want to try that on a gundam might be fun it, it'll work the same way and i actually got all the colors so i can do that except it's even more dangerous because it's more bandai plastic well yeah, oil paint shouldn't hurt it too much but, but, um it's the enamel thinner it's the oil thinners that it's the, the this stuff this is yeah. what cracks bandai plastic mm -hmm. is enamel thinners enamel or oil thinners, thinners yeah. or whatever they are this stuff is mineral what, spirits. Yeah, the mineral. Th this stuff is what does it. It'll. Um, I could take some bare Bandai plastic right now and just just soak it in mineral spirits, and it'll just crumble the pieces. Yeah, I definitely want to do that with these colors. You gonna make it crumble? Okay. No. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I want to do an. I want to do an oil dot, an oil filter on it. And uh, with do some metallic paints too. I just I want to make a Gundam look less anime and more realistic because I think that would be cool. That would be cool. It's nice to give things a uh, you know how you think they'd look in real life finish. Well, I mean that's kind of the purpose of the real grades too, right? It's supposed to look like it's real. So I'm like, let's make it look real. Uh, loosely, yes. Yeah. There's my red color. Like a rust, isn't it? Warm red. That ain't right. That was kind of the ultimate uh, goal of the Perfect Grade Unleash was to like try to make it look like if we actually built a real Gundam in real life, how many panels and tonal changes it would have on it from panel yeah. to panel. It did a pretty good job. Red. Oh, that's a better color for Gundam, I think. Okay. We've got a big brush I'm dabbing off some of the thinner oh god this looks horrible there we go this is terrible yep yep that's that's pretty mm -hmm. bad that's right look you're doing good just yep, keep going that looks that looks you're absolutely horrific doing wonderful <laughs> yep I've been told that that and when it looks terrible, you're in the right direction. That's right. You're doing it right. Yes. Oh my God. I mean, I can kind of see where this is going ultimately. The concept, but my gosh, it is terrifying. <laughs> I think the starship built would be good for that undercarriage for the Okay. Gundams. Well, that looks <laughs> looks like a Jackson Pollock right now. And done. I might have put too many dots on it, but luckily we could wipe all of this off. Nah, you're okay. <laughs> 
Just keep going. Wow, you weren't kidding. The Tidarium is weathered more than the Emperor's shuttle. Yes, it's much dirtier. I see that now. Yeah, that is. That's because it's got them old codes. Yeah, the Emperor's right. shuttle, you know, they took it to the it car wash in between uh, shuttling them about, you know? They're like, no, Palpatine it, won't ride a dirty shuttle. The Emperor shuttle was brand new every time. They just killed the, and destroyed the last crew, you know, bought a new one every time. Yeah. It's like it's like that scene from Robot Chicken with the, uh, you know, the, the, whoever the commander is he's talking to, you know, and they, they pretend like Darth Vader can choke them out so they don't actually die. But yeah, that, like, was, that was quite <laughs> funny. We fit him with a mustache and give him a new I name. I love Robot Chicken. <laughs> oh, Robot Chicken Star Wars bits are so oh my good. Gosh, I love that one. <laughs> we get to stay amongst the living, and Vader gets the satisfaction of thinking he killed someone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was pretty funny. Oh, what a good old day. I love when Dave cracks Dave up. Ah. The innocent do. joy in his mild laugh. I do. Okay, this is painful to do while sitting. I think I need to stand up now because, like, kind of used to working over a model, not like under it. Are the oil fumes getting to you yet? I don't smell anything. Really? It, it doesn't it stink. It's working. It, it has a smell to it. Not much. It's, it, yeah, it's just like it's the linseed oil you can smell. I don't really I don't smell like much. The smell of it. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just it's a it's just a smell, almost like vegetable <laughs> oil. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's sort of the effect that we're going for, but lighter. <laughs> Oh, oh gosh. my god. <laughs> so you I don't have red, do I? Where did red come from? Oh no, blood in the stool. That's oh, not no. good. You oh. can take a, a paper towel to that to help soak some of it up if it's too much. I think I might oh. do that. There you go. Yep. Oh yeah, that looks way better. Rather than yeah. trying to soak it, you can you can even like swipe it like you were doing with the paper towel. That'll work too. <clears throat> Let's try to get some of the excess off. Oh, it's just there. You go. This experiment That's... is not going how I thought. It's an older experiment, but it checks out. <laughs> it's it's working though, because I mean I can start to see some of those panel line uh, details. I can see which is it cool. now at Wonderfest. Ian is going to get a special prize of only person who ever made the Tidarium shuttle look like a tank. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? Special edition Andy Warhol okay. shuttle? There we go. We're gonna There we go. <laughs> now we're gonna tap tap off most of that. Man, I put too many dots on here, I think, but luckily, no since one's it is ever oil done paint. The Andy Warhol shuttle before. Outside of the La Ferrari door. Nice. Nice. Hell yeah. Next. I'm impressed they put the inside of this smoke extractor. I mean, really, this finish, it's like chaos is best, apparently, with this finishing technique. Yeah, it just looks bad until you get the final result. Chaos is always best. So what you're saying, Dave, is it looks terrible until it doesn't. Yep, that's true. The, the trick with any kind of painting or weathering is it's about layering, right? It's putting one thing on top of the other, on top of the other, on top of the other. 
And any one layer, if you look at it, looks awful. But when you're a dozen layers in, all of a sudden you're like, wow, that looks realistic. Is And then that's when you guys are like, is that actually a model? Like, yeah. But there's so many layers to it, your eye thinks it's real. And that's what makes it look good. So You, you have made me go full Shrek. Ogres have layers. <laughs> <laughs> So true. So how many layers do you have, Ian? <clears throat> um, how many licks does it get to get to the center <laughs> oh, of a Tootsie we're not Pop? Even going there. <laughs> oh man! Nobody wants to know how many licks it takes to get to the center of an Ian Pop. There you go. Consider me the owl. Well, well it's probably been it's probably been so long that it probably wouldn't take very many licks at this point. No, no, really. <laughs> even just even just a glancing blow, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pretty interesting verbiage you use here, Cotton. Ah, PG thirteen. <laughs> <laughs> bumper cars, all done. <laughs> oh, <Ouch. ew. laughs> I just made that blowing. one up. I don't know where it came from. Oh, yep. Okay. <laughs> Uh, it definitely looks dirty. She's a dirty girl. But it, it it it's getting there. It just needs like another hour of prodding with thinner. And I got to throw out this thinner. I need clean thinner now. My old thinner is too dirty. It's got so much paint in it. It's not even really thinner anymore. It's just really super thin paint. It's colored thinner. So once you get it down to a certain level, what you can do is, um, well, you're already doing everything you need to do. But once you get down to where you want it, then you're going to want to use the same oil paints or pick one of the darker ones. Put a bunch of enamel thinner in it and you do a pin wash. That'll be your next step. Do I let the first coat dry? You can, but oil paints take a long time to dry. Like, you'll be waiting till Wonderfest. Mon Monday. No. Monday to, to do it uh, the next layer, but you don't have to wait till it dries. Just got to be careful. Um, if, you, if you're going to let it dry and then move on to the panel lining stage, um, just don't touch the flat panels with your fingers or you'll smudge the oil. Ah. Which gotcha. can easily be fixed with your brush. It's, it's, don't, it's not like one of those, oh, crap, it's done and I can't fix it. It's not like that at all. But you will still like smudge that. it. The, the trick, if you if you don't want to wait, is just to actually spray a uh, clear coat over it. And you can okay. seal it. You, you can do it that way. Seal it before it dries? Yeah, you don't have to wait for it to dry. With the amount of thinner you're using, it's very thin down at this point. <clears throat> I mean, you'll want to let the thinner dry out so it's like it looks dry, but the oils will be wet for a couple days. But you yeah, can, the you video I watched, he said at least 24 hours to let it sit. Yeah, you can. I <clears throat> it's hey, who do you trust, Ian? Some random YouTuber or uh, our resident weathering expert? You know, I generally Dave, but this guy had a British accent, so you know how that goes. <laughs> you know, when they have a British accent, you're like, well, this is the authority. Dave, you need to try talking with a British accent. Hold on, let me channel my inner Monty Python. Besides, I fart in your general direction. <laughs> That's French. Oh, yeah, that was a Frenchman. <laughs> that was a Frenchman. <laughs> ah, fart in your general direction. Your mother was a hamster and your father smelt of elderberries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh, and, you know, the, U the U.S. I taunt you a second time. <laughs> They they protest they protest in the U.S. these cardboard signs that they made with kindergarten finger paint. In France, they bring on combines from the farm and spray poop on government buildings. That was awesome. I'm like, whoa! You went full manure on them. Now that's how you tell someone you're displeased with their actions. Someone's gonna spray poop all over your building. 
this needs up. Oh God, I just gotta wipe this thing. That's it. I still, I still think it's funny that after the first scene in that movie, the, the Holy Grail, where they're talking about the swallow and whether it can carry a coconut, if you pay attention but to the very a next European scene, swallow or an African swallow? Yeah, if you Is remember, swallow unladen. <laughs> in the very next scene, with the. Uh, the knight that wears the blue and has the flap in the front. I can't remember which yeah. one it is. In the very beginning, it's like it's right before the townspeople are bringing the girl with the carrot on her nose and calling her a witch, right? It's right Gosh. before then. He has a swallow with a coconut attached to it on a reed, and it flies away. I did not notice that. I'll have to rewatch. <laughs> That's what makes Monty Python so hilarious, though. Yeah. You have to watch it seven times to actually see all of it. Well, there's so many Easter eggs, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's like I couldn't get this finished with just using some of the brown and black. Like, I had to put on the blue and the pale green and the dark green. And I think, I, I honestly, I think Dave is secretly a, a, a sales representative for Abbott Lung. No. Okay, this is actually, you know, now that I've just gone to, like, brute force of wiping it down with paper towels, it's looking pretty badass. <laughs> what floats in water? Very actually, small uh, stones. <laughs> actually Dave was asking us uh, the other day uh, what could he do to torture Ian, so. Oh, there we go. He's so mild matter and nice, but he's looking for ways to screw with me. Ah, oh, you're a good friend. There you go. I so believe I, people who don't know you are looking for ways I, I to feel like I feel like I've been falsely accused here. I don't know about that. No, it's fine. It's it's kind of what I expect. It's it's so sort of I, the I, I feel the like I mentioned fee. I feel like I mentioned something about poking fun at the end, but I don't know if I asked for help. <laughs> Most people don't need any help to poke fun at Ian. Oh no, it's it's I'm like the office stress ball. Everyone gets a squeeze. It's just natural. You just see that I want to squeeze that thing till it dies. <laughs> it looks annoying, and I want to crush it. <laughs> there we go. All right. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. Okay. All right. I definitely put too many dots on it. Lesson learned. Less dots next time. Because I had to wipe away 95% of everything. Smaller dots. Just less. Just less dots. Just three dots, four inches in diameter each. There we that, go. That's fair, because you can always add more. I mean, rather than waste, waste the oils. Yeah, I definitely was wasteful. I'm pretty darn happy with that. I might want the tiniest bit of Starship filth here. So the reason I actually decided to just go with those styling oils is because I tried the Windsor and Newton sets and they're honestly just as expensive, but they only have like, you know, basic artistry sets. So like it's not for armor modelers. So you have to mix all your own colors. You know? Yeah. Is that resin working out for you, Jordan? Pretty well, actually. Um, I did botch the uh, first curve line tape job up here, so I'm on my second one. So, pretty good. Well, Todd did say you'd screw that up. Yeah. But on the flat panel here, I was able to get uh, these four here. Uh, they're super clear, uh, slightly recessed, uh, just the way I'm looking for. So, I'm pretty pleased. I thought I was going to need a little bit more practice, but the Mr. Resin doesn't leave behind many bubbles at all. So, super Yeah, happy. Ian gave up after one flat panel. I tried to. <laughs> all right. I, I yeah, but you had already gave up before you tried the second one. Yes, yeah, Steve? I, I tried not to say anything, but does everybody know who Thomas Hayden Church is? Yes. Yeah. No. Does anybody notice, no. That, notice that Jordan sounds just like Thomas Hayden Church? I, huh. I think Jordan sounds like Jordan. 
<laughs> or Thomas Aiden Church, rather. I don't know who he is, though, so. It's one of those weird guys with three names. He, um, he played law in um, Wings. He was in Daddy's Home. He played the radio station manager. He played a teacher in something. Oh, Easy A. Oh, that's oh, right. I, I saw that movie. Good movie. Never heard of it. You never heard of Easy A? No. My wife got me to watch that movie. Oh, wow. oh, God. We can watch that movie all the time. It's a funny movie. It's got Emma Stone in it. Yeah. Richard, are you trying? Right, is Richard offended or does he say he resembles that remark? I'm not sure. <clears throat> I mean, all you were saying is that he had a British voice, so he's immediately trustworthy. <laughs> oh, excuse me. All right, so it looks like I need Adam Akuma Pink by Meg. Pink? What do you need? Did you say pink? No, by Easy. Meg. Adam it Acrylic. It's Meg's new... Um, oh, the Adam oh. paints. The oh, yeah. I have all those. Are they as nice as they seem? Yes, I, I did a review for you guys. They're you really posted nice. posted a video, Steve. Mm -hmm. Well, I watched it when I got stuck on um, um, that person who owns that hobby shop, his, his YouTube about it. He, got, yeah, they, he fell down the rabbit hole with that, that channel. Yeah, yeah, they are as nice as they say. For brushing and airbrushing, they're really good. Let me hmm. try some of those. The guy from Andy's or whatever, whatever his name is. Uh, Andy. Andy. That guy. What's he, a stripper? Meg Jimenez. <laughs> Big Daddy. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah, there. So it's Adam. Scale crack dealer. Yeah. Dude. I think I have all the 16th scale he's sold except for what's that DOS work one? Well, he, well, I have all the Andes ones. But there's that DOS work one he sold. Uh, or, oh, what's that thing called? The SDZ? The Skid Kaviz 252 two yeah, or something? 251? Yeah, 251, yeah. I, did, I didn't want the plain one, but as soon as I got that in the Dragon model, like Literally the next day, I saw they announced that they were doing the one with the pack gun on it. The uh, oh, it's not the eighty-eight. I think it's the seventy-five millimeter gun on it. Yeah, the seven point five. Yeah, I was like, hmm. Yeah, I want that one instead. A half track with a tank gun. Yes, please. <laughs> Okay. Well, there we go. I think it looks good. It looks good. It's subtle. It does. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's just a filter. It's, it's just a stuff. haze of filth. Yep. And now when you add on, like, your streaking with all those colors, your panel liner, it's all going to look like it matches because your filter has all them colors in it. Yeah. It's like magic. What, what kind of algorithm does Yelp use? I looked for hobby stores in the area, and it came back with the Trump store. Trump store? Yeah. Like the Donald Trump store? Yeah, there's one at Ben Salem. Oh, okay. I like for clothing. Yeah, clothing, glasses. Why are you looking on Yelp for hobby shops? Just go to Google. That's what I did. It threw me to that, and it said ten best 
hobby shops in your area. Oh, okay. don't ever listen. Don't ever click the Yelp link. Oh, I know that. I know not to do it, but I did it anyway. Such yeah. A yeah, use Google Maps and just be like hobby oh. shop. <clears throat> oh. Steve, Dave called you a boomer. <laughs> I was wondering if anybody heard me say that. I, I don't think Steve, I think Steve's short of Boomer by uh, how many years or months or whatever? Well, first off, those ranges vary from everybody who has a list, but according to them, I am a Boomer. Uh-oh. Which would pretty much make, um, <laughs> what's that guy's name? Buck. Uh, too. Now, Buck said he's three months shy. He's looking at a different he, list than no you. There's no hard, fast rules on that. you gotta, you, you got to swing six months either way. Hear that, Buck? Bad news. I don't swing that way. <laughs> Buck only swings uh, swings six months forward. <laughs> oh, see, it, it's more Unless fun he's because applying for benefits. You no, know, I, I got to say that I'm not a boomer, but my wife is. My wife. My wife. Oh, I got I got spatter all over my little model. Oh my god, this is going to be difficult. Wait, wait, do we have a Todd situation here? <laughs> no, no, it's fine. I'm weathering it anyway. It's just <laughs> it's making a mess. I had this thing on an angle for a reason. I didn't want to get weathering stuff where I wasn't ready to weather things. Oh, if you made a boo boo, it's okay. We'll just call it a blast mark. Put some smoke also, there. My, my yeah, finish is that. not perfectly smooth because of my issues spraying the archive x paint at the wrong thinning and air pressure ratios did you clear before you did your filter oh yeah no? i did a gloss clear okay good 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 all right yeah it's got, Jordan, it's got a... you do know what i'm talking about right what's that with the uh top with in pulling a todd uh, oh, yeah uh, yeah yeah, yeah. That, that was that was rough <laughs> It was painful just to be on the stream. It was, like, actually. I've met Todd in person. He's a big dude. I'm like, oh, he could just run out into the street and flip cars over if he gets angry enough. <laughs> oh, <laughs> angry. Don't make me angry. <laughs> oh, Todd, angry Todd smash. <laughs> Don't make I was me angry. so you worried. like me when I'm angry. <laughs> Like you should have seen at Wonderfest Todd next to Norm Chan from Tested. It was like a half scale model of a human standing next to Todd. <laughs> oh, but that's the Japanese version. Yeah, fifty percent scale. It was it was ridiculous. I feel short near Todd and I'm six feet tall. Boy, I can say that's how tall I am, so well I'm gonna feel small too. I'm 5'8", so yeah. You're, you're standing in the front of the group photo, that's all. Yeah, just stand behind Donnie. You'll be fine. <laughs> Jesus. I'm <laughs> just I'm messing around. Hey, I'm 5'5", five, five, oh. so... Packages? Like I always say, I heard that like soothing, friendly voice of Donnie, and I turned around and didn't see anybody. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's Donnie. I love Donnie. Where is he? I'm like, where the hell is he? Really? Over there? Yeah, and I'm just this, like, fat whale. It's like, you know, it's all middle. I'm just a belly with arms and legs attached, basically, and a big fat head. <laughs> You're not a whale. Just look for a Pit Stain Hobbies t-shirt with three chins above it, and you found Ian. <laughs> Oh gosh! Ugh. That's it. Hey, Steve. Uh, odds are, who breaks the first plastic folding chair at the uh, modeling uh, demo class on Friday? Yeah. Nope. Me, if I sit down too fast. My, uh, I grew up. We grew up with not a lot of money, so we had those plastic, like uh, molded lawn chairs at our dining table. Oh man. Nice. Yeah, and uh, I sat down one night for dinner, and the, the back legs just gave way and did a full split, and I was on the floor. It was, I was just like, Dad, can we buy real chairs? He's like, no. I was like, no, no. 
That's what I was picturing too. That scene what? from Shallow Hell where she splits. That the actually bacon. happened to me at a restaurant two <laughs> yeah. years ago. Yeah, I sat and boom, chair gone. Yep. yep. It was at a it was at a sushi restaurant and uh yeah that happened to me. It was mortifying. Yeah. yeah. But not not as much as for the manager. Like the look on his face was priceless. <laughs> I I did not pay for my meal. Like, thank God this head wasn't head. an all you can eat. <laughs> yeah. First thing out of his mouth was don't sue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing out of my mouth was like, oh my god, I just shallow held. <laughs> totally. You gotta weld that together better in the corners. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. oh, so bad. It's a classic Jack Black movies. I'm not going to call sandwich. Even though I kind of like, I hate Jack Black somehow. Like he makes me cringe. That movie was funny though. I'm not a but big fan of his. I'm not a big fan of his. No. Same. I mean, uh, oh, his 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 guest appearance in the in the uh, the Mandalorian was uh, that was something. Uh, that was something. All right. That was uh, that was a guest appearance. <laughs> Are you sure? Less dots this time. More dots. More dots. Less dots. Many less dots. Oh, no. You got to put more dots on everything now so it'll match. <clears throat> no, I just won't have to wash off as much crap. No. No. It'll be fine, Donnie. <laughs> I might just, like, label this entry at Wonderfest. Please do not judge. Like, literally, don't judge me. <laughs> I'm just putting it in here to meet my obligation of the buddy build. Do not judge. Uh, it'll turn out fine. Oh, it's going to be bad, Donnie. You don't really see what I see right now. Hey, Keith. You're on camera. We see what you see. Oh, no. It's way worse in person. Hmm. Donnie, he's got a mirror in front of him, too. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Let's see what you did there. Yeah. All right, Nelson. Delayed reaction. It took me a second. I was, uh, I was concentrating on not putting too many dots. I've already got too many dots on here. I think. Less dots. More dots. Well, if you got against die. Uh, it's just, just no more dots. Oh, Contractually, very, you're supposed to have more dots. This is a very intricate piece of plastic and pre-painted. Is that the inside nice. of the door? Yeah, even as the door hinge is. screws are painted there. Oh, that's a nice. You would have done that yourself locker. if they weren't already I, there. I know, I would have. But the paint, the paint's very, very nice. Very nice. Your web page would have been like, oh, I just took my uh, silver sharpie marker and uh... <laughs> it's plastic. I mean, that's just it's very nice. It's nice. 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 It's nice. I like. How much? I put baby in my door panel. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> ew. <laughs> Sorry, but ew. I think most rental cars. <laughs> Nobody puts baby in the door panel. There we go. Ooh, time for the green. I like the green. Oh, that's nice. A little green right there. That's really nice. What's that? What are we looking at? On the window. Over by here by my thumb, you can barely see on camera the line. Where? Where is it at? Yeah, there's a trim line. Thumb. Yeah. They yeah. want you to paint that. Oh, yeah. I, that looks fun. Uh, no. You're That's supposed yes. to. It, it, it must be, be painted. Like a matte no. black. No. That's no, no, a moral just, imperative now. You got to paint mm -hmm. it. Just mask um, it. Let me think about No. 
Oh. <laughs> uh, every time you show us that part, I'm gonna point that out. Like, you really should have painted that window trim, Buck. <laughs> no, it looks some okay. Window but... trim. <laughs> it looks all right, but I don't know. It seems like the windows are missing some like trim or something. Uh, no. <laughs> Just use a sharpie. No. I've done that before, and you know, it looks worse than if you do, don't do anything at all. It's because Sharpie is like, actually goes on blue instead of black, right? Nah, it has like a purple. <laughs> yeah, you can, yeah black Sharpie is weird. You can see through it. That's, I why, I bought a, uh, that well, that's why I brought acrylic paint pens. They're very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, it, this looks like poop again. Mm-hmm. If it looks like poop, you're doing it right. Apparently, according to Dave. Yep. We trust Dave. He's our resident weatherer. Okay, he's a resident. Cameron says he watched the entire series and never saw Jack Black. Uh, it was the episode with Christopher Lloyd. Yeah. Like mid season, season three. He was like, boy, the. He was the governor of a planet. He was a governor, governor. yeah. He was like an ex imperial. Then I'm going to learn from my earlier session. I'm going to start dabbing off some of this paint now. You don't have enough dots on it. I have plenty of dots on it. There's more than enough, more than enough oil paint in this thing. I need a fresh piece of paper towel. I think I have to get out my uh, my burner. Your burner? What do you what do you have? A oh, cell I got phone it. for the side piece? No. <laughs> I'm confused. No, I have to anneal <laughs> this. I think I have to anneal this brass. I have to oh, make oh, I have to bend this that radius. kind of burner. Yeah, you see that? You should radius? have said a torch. A tor <laughs> yeah. It's, it's, it's late. I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning. We hear a burner. We hear, like, drug dealer cell phone. <laughs> this thingy. There you go. Oh. That's good Ian, for finishing off your meringue. Ian, we were, we are definitely both uh, from different generations because I thought CD burner. Oh, God. I had CD burners, but... We watch a lot of true crime shows. Like, oh, he's, why, he's using a burner phone. We can't trace it. Oh, yeah. Fire. Oh, Jesus. We found Dave's uh, little Fire's good. Fire fetish good. there. He's like, <laughs> oh, stop. Fire. Fire. You that would get Ian going. Oh, no. I unleashed Beavis. Oh, God. Yeah. Go, back, go back in your hole. Ah, you've, you've unleashed Ian's Davis. Oh, ah. What have I done? Ah. Now, what have you done? Help! Ah. It's all my fault. It's 55 inches long. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I mean, that was really bad, Steve. Pause. <laughs> rewind. <laughs> Steve, what what, 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 kind of, what kind of, what, what's going on with the fifty-five inches long here? I'm, I'm intrigued and confused at the same time. I said the sub. Oh, the sub. I was like, are you that hungry? Like, isn't a foot long enough for you? Ian was feeling inadequate. That's one of those YouTube food challenges. It's like 55-inch sub. If you can finish it, it's free. Those are called mukbangs. Oh, the mukbangs. Yeah, you're right. Those so damn weird. videos. They're just random people just just eating. eating themselves to death online for fun. No, they're wrong. <laughs> they get millions of views. I wish I got mukbang views. Gross. <laughs> yeah, they're wrong. I don't know where they got that from. Fifty-five inches. It's not. It's it's like uh, four feet, right? Four foot seven inches. But yet, 
thing. Oh, here, let me zoom out. Four foot seven. They they give you a. Oh, wow, can't even zoom out far enough. Is that really um, a life size diagram? That's what they're saying, arrow to arrow. So, did you measure it? How but long is it? Here, they're saying it's 140 centimeters long. Okay. 140 centimeters is... 1.4 meters. Yeah. The metric system. So oh, beautiful. I got, I, got my, I got my Makita tape measure handy, Steve. 100 and... Oh, my God. No, 140? Yeah, that's not right. No, my God, that's so long. <laughs> it's almost as tall as you. It can't be. It's that. This is this is literally. I, I thought they said it was almost five foot or something long. I have step ladders shorter than this thing. It's huge. You need to buy a second shelf just to hold that. One hundred and forty centimeters. Let me get my other imperial tape measure. It's cleaner, but it's 1. evil. 1.4 meters. It's about five feet, five and a half feet. No, it's, it's like it's like it's fifty-five inches. Is, is uh, yeah, it's fifty-five inches. Steve's right. Dear God, no, that thing's not that big, is it? Yes. The Which U ninety. That? That's the U ninety six, right? Yeah. No way. No, it's really long. Haven't you seen the guy holding it, the pictures? Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, I saw that. Oh, uh, all right. So what's throwing me off is they got this white line here, and it goes from bow to stern, and they're saying right here 140 centimeters. I think what they're literally trying to tell me is from front to back is 140 centimeters. This picture is not much like that, Doctor, I don't think he had time to make it to scale. So. Is it did you scale? Did you measure the picture? What is it? It's like one forty-eight scale, isn't it? Yeah. Steve, do you have a metric tape measure handy? Yeah, let me just pull one out of my ass. No, I don't have a metric. <laughs> just check it. I was actually waiting for him to pull it. He was your confident. Steve, Steve's not going to rip this out of his bum. <laughs> Although it, 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 I shouldn't really. I want one. You want one? Yeah. What the U ninety six or the metric tape measure? Either one, because I've become a real big fan of metric ever since. I yeah, it. that's why I got this thing. I'm like. I thought you were already doing the one the U ninety six. Who me? Yeah. Yeah, it's right here. It's the first pack I'm looking at. Oh yeah. That's why he's got the poster, Todd. It's just the poster is not to Four full scale. Mm. Well, that, on that thing, isn't it? This thing is flipping massive. What's that? It's going to look nice on my deck. Uh, yeah. Or a wall. Or... I was going to make a diorama for it, but dear Lord. What's that? Well, I guess we said we got to bring Todd in so he can organize everything. What's Todd getting uh, recruited for now? <clears throat> organized in Steve's shop. Oh, yeah. Todd could do that. All right. So I have a particular set of skills. <laughs> mm-hmm. One of them's not oil painting yet. Definitely not this. No, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm only teasing. You're doing fine. So I have no idea what I'm doing. No, no, no. Ian, you have a peculiar set of skills. <laughs> That's a good way to put it. Yeah. <laughs> I make a mean quesadilla. All right. Play that right now. Mean photon torpedo. Or wait, wait. Photon burritos. Burritos. The actual yeah. U96 was 2640 inches long. Divide that by 48. Oh shit. Oh shit. Yes, math. You divide it by 48 and you come out with 55. Oh, there you go. Well, math 55. checks out. Yeah. 
It's old math. <laughs> it's an older calculation, but it checks out. Yeah, it's a large <laughs> kit, and it checks out. He did the math. He did the monster math. <laughs> the monster math. <laughs> I had to do it. I'm sorry. It was for Steve because he's a Halloween guy. He's heard the Monster Mash more times than I've heard the Hot Pockets commercial. <laughs> oh, Ooh, I don't know. That's hard to believe. He watched, uh, the Mandalorian, and he never saw Jack Black. Yeah, it was. It was the like the third from the last episode of the last season. It was him, and who played his wife or something? Lizzo. 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 That's right. Lizzo. Yeah, the 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 female job of the hut. Oh. oh, sorry. That was just the casting, like, the casting of Jack Black and Lizzo was just like, I. they threw them in there with, like, Jack Black's an actor. Lizzo was not. Yeah. Well, on argument, you made that Jack Black's not an actor either, but. Well, I mean, he's not. He's more of a comedian, musician, but he's been in movies. I'm saying she has zero acting experience. They could have found anybody else that would have fit. Yeah, but they could have found other people that were working actresses to fill that role. But they wanted a pop media star. And I just, I don't like that. I, I'd prefer they actually had like a working actress to fill the same role. If, if they're looking to do a certain thing. Use an actual working oh, yeah. actress from Hollywood that's like doing stupid TV commercials and learning channels things and like Hallmark shows. You know, give her a like shot. Disney like turned Star Wars into the Marvel Universe where they just pick up like, you know, the has beens and throw them in to try to make them relevant again and be like, look at all the people we've had on the series, you know? Yeah, yeah, they do things. They do things saying they mean to do a certain thing. And I'm like, yeah, but you <laughs> didn't do it the right way. Yeah, it's the right. sixth, sixth episode of um, season three, the third from the last. In a very forgettable season. Oh, yeah. So bad. It wasn't that bad, but it certainly wasn't the best either. But... No. Here, take the Darksaber I worked so hard to get. Have fun. Well, no, it, it wasn't the Mandalorian anymore. It was It was all, uh, what you call it? Bo What's her name? Bo Katan. Starbuck, yeah. yeah. It was Starbuck, yeah. Was, uh, what do you guys think about Starbuck being cast in that role? Uh, listen, I don't have a... I love Starbuck. I like the actress. I like her prior work. I, I have no problem, a, but like it was the it was, was the, the writing. That whole re She was the voice was actress of the uh, car, in the her, the character in the cartoon, so it's it's a great casting. It's perfect. Yeah, no, no, she's a great actress. I think it's just the writing let that <laughs> the, definitely the writing let that show down. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, well, it's the fact that Pedro Pascal is not involved. Like that's the deal, right? Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. Oh, I can't believe they're even talking about continuing it on without him. Oh, yeah, of course they will. He's not it's in now, it. It's now the Bo Katan show. No. Not anymore. No, he's only in it for like well, he's only physically there when they're taking off the mask. Otherwise, it's just ADR. Yeah, he already he already admitted that. Yeah, he just sits in his pajamas at home saying lines into a digital recorder and then goes back to bed. Yep. Hey. You, wow. Good money if you can get it. Yeah, I know, really. Can't fault but me. he's not going to be involved at all from now on. Buck, mm -hmm. your screen is black. They'll use AI. Oh, yeah. I was That's super just... excited when they added in Bo Katan and Ahsoka. Like, I, I, I actually like that because yeah. I watched the Rebel series and I watched Clone Wars. So, like, yep, same. How about like, great characters yeah. and like, and I feel like get that Ahsoka show, was right? definitely excited. Yeah, Ahsoka was actually a really well executed uh, season. It was really good. You no, know, the um, Bo Katan was supposed to get her own show, wasn't she? They're talking about season four of Mandalorian just being Katie Sackoff, and it's going to be her show, basically. Well, it was pretty much season three. I mean, yeah, yeah, and then uh, they Mando, they got the Mandalorian and Grogu. They got their film getting ready to film a movie. Oh boy, yeah, that's going to be a movie of all time. Yeah, it will be a movie of all time. No, just it'll be a movie. Yes. <clears throat> this whole time I'm still working on a door. 
Oh, come on. What the heck? What's new, Todd? Mm. Intricate, detailed, fiddly part work stages. Deliver what we expect. It's like, what have you got to show for your hours on the stream, Ian? I was like, I have a Tidarium shuttle that looks like it crashed into a sewage treatment plant in Georgia. Todd? <laughs> He's like, I have a, a door panel for a Ferrari. <laughs> Matt checks guys, out. You guys will have me beat at this rate. I might have one fender done. Well, Dave, you know, you're painting a Picasso over there on every fender. Slowly folding brass and. Oh gosh, I don't want to solder it. I suck. What nobody, solder. what nobody knows is 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 Dave has one thirty fifth scale anvils and hammers off screen that he's using to forge Jeez. that metal into sheets. Stop telling everyone. Oh, he's got a. He's got a small dwarf over there, stoking <laughs> the flames with bellows. Little person, little person. Hey. I think he has a giant dwarf. Okay, I now now Buck's on the hook for that one. There we go. <laughs> Not just me. Dwarf. A giant dwarf. <laughs> oh god. Okay, you guys went there. That's, you, you open that door. <laughs> yep. Andre the giant and Princess Bride. What? <laughs> I'm confused. I brought a horse in case we find a lady. Hi, lady. Yeah. Hi, lady. <laughs> Fezzik. <laughs> now I have guilt. Your first mistake was challenging Italian to a game of wits. A Sicilian. <laughs> Sicilian. Yeah, my wife's half Sicilian. My wife. We heard that. Wife. There is no challenging her to wits. I, I don't have anything to challenge with, first of all, but yes, no. Negative outcome. Sorry. What the doctor say? It was a negative outcome. I need fresh thinner again. This ab butt lung thinner ain't cheap, and I'm going through it quickly. You can use any enamel thinner, really. I know, but it's got the Abbott lung name on it. So I use oh generic God. odorless mineral spirits. Yeah, I have some of that too. Don't use it, Ian. I mean I have a big like metal tin of it from Home Depot. That's lacquer thinner. All right. Donnie, this stuff. That's it. There you go. Yeah, the Home Depot stuff. Yeah, I need copper. I might go down to maybe Mega Hobby tomorrow. For copper paint? Yeah, Wait, Mega got... Hobby is near you? Well, the AAA is. Oh, I was about to say, I'm like, the MegaHobby.com? I was like, well, I thought they were... AAA is like an offshoot kind of... Uh... Oh, okay. Of Mega Hobby. I don't know where my trash can's at. Oh, there it is. If not, then I'll figure out something to do for Sunday. Hmm. I'm highly disappointed. All right. You out of here, Steve? Yeah, we're... We have to be in there. We have to be in there early in the morning. I have to do some... Um, What's that thing called? Work? Recording, yeah. <laughs> I have a, I'm behind in a couple packs, so. Which, oh, on what? Uh, Hang on. Optimus? I'm always caught up in my, my Optimus. I think Katrina's always caught up in hers. I got the PR, Yuri. And I got the Miura to do. other stuff. 
I mean, started by Shelby. <clears throat> Hey, Steve, my offer stands if you want me to send a flatbed up for that uh, snap-on box. <laughs> <laughs> Steve has the sickest toolbox in the universe for anybody watching. And zombie green snap-on full wall of kitchen toolbox. Extreme green. Oh, my God. It's the same color as the Maker's Gorgeous. Cave logo. Con coincidentally. Yeah, well, that's what motivated me to make the, uh, the logo color. Oh, so you didn't buy the toolbox to match the logo? You did the logo to match no, the toolbox? Like, well, what happened is the mechanics at work, they're always upgrading. So one of them got a new box, a 40 grand box. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Snap on. What is it? What's like 12 feet long or something like that? Um, got an actual remote to lock it. Um, <laughs> so he had, so he had the green one. And um, I needed a box. It was there. The Snap-on guy gave me a good deal because, you know, if, if he didn't sell it, he'd have to take that and stick it in his house. Yeah. So he, he was motivated not to, not to have to move it. So I got it. That is an absolutely dream-level, like, tool porn God level <laughs> toolbox. Like we saw that picture, and I'm just like, oh, God, God, God. it's a. I I can stand on one of the drawers, and it doesn't even. Doesn't even. You know, they're like they're like two or three hundred pound drawers each. Oh, the wide drawers are like four hundred pounders. They, they, they say what you want, but everything they have is built like a, a brick shit house. Yeah, I'm lucky if I have icon money. And if it breaks, you just take it back from here. This don't work no more. <clears throat> My God, that thing is, yeah. I'd build an addition to find room for that toolbox. Well, there's that wall would hold it. There you go. I could fill it with paint now. <laughs> but that's, My workbench is just covered. That's where I wanted to put my display, though, of... Um... Oh, Steve, I got an idea. Steve, I got an idea. Uh -oh. You take the hutch, okay? Cut a hole in the back of it. Duct, put a duct on the back and turn the hutch into a spray booth. What, the snap one? Yeah, yeah. Just duct the back of it with air filters out. I would not the let paint anywhere near that. <laughs> But it would make a perfect, convenient open up, use it, close it. No. And the enamel I'm, finish. I think I'm going to make one of those ones you got. It's not. It doesn't look like it's that hard. Uh, it's just folded sheet metal, Steve. You could probably oh, do this thing. If you have a bend break and the sheet yep. metal and... Yeah. I yeah. Have with the other the mechanics I have one, I can just use it. Yeah, you could... Yeah, I mean... I don't have, I don't have the tools or the skill to build one, but I can see how it's made. If I showed it to my HVAC contractor and like, how much would it cost for you to build this for me? He'd probably give me a price that was at least the same, if not more, than pace charges. I mean, I Katrina's already built me a, a paint booth and it's really nice. I just have to vent it. But the reason I want to build the one you got is simply because it's five hundred dollars, and you know, it's not five hundred. It's not no, the one I'm. The one it's I'm getting is 500 in parts, and I'm and I'm hard pressed to say there's 500 in labor there too. So, uh, yeah, it was 785. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and we have a great metal place near us. I gotta get down. To it. Uh, Buck, did you ever mail that thing out? I didn't yet. I didn't okay. get a chance. I just want to make sure we didn't miss it because there's mail's kind of unique around here. All right, I'm out. All right, Steve. Steve. Find me. All, right, All, right, Steve. Steve. All right, Steve. See you later, buddy. Oh, then Tom, I'm going to run some tests on those yeah. uh, awards this weekend. Oh, excellent. All right, cool. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I'm fixing to get off of here, too, because I got to jump in the shower and go to bed and get up for work in the morning. Yay. Yay. I'm sorry. Hey, Donnie? Guys. Donnie, don't forget to mention to get your boss tomorrow my idea that I put on Discord. 
Yeah, I don't think that'll work. <laughs> Anybody who doesn't know what I'm talking about, I suggested to Donnie that, you know, there is an, is a uh, day they could start earlier in the week, too. <clears throat> nope. Mm-hmm. Nope, 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 nope. I might be making my shuttle too grimy, but either way, I'll go with it. <clears throat> but I'm going to get out of here, guys. Y'all have a good one. All right, Donnie. All right, everybody. Have a good Take night, care, everybody. Donnie. See you. Oh, no, I failed to do an entire step of painting. What did you forget? I forgot to do the dark gray panels in the dorsal fin and the gray panels on the wings. Oh, no. That's okay. Just seal it and then... uh, Yeah, I'll seal it and mask it and do it afterwards. It's fine. There you go. Yep. That way they're nice and fresh and I can weather them separately. I was going to say, Ian failed to do something. Now, uh, a big surprise there. Yeah. I'm doing way less dots. I don't need to do as many dots. This oil paint just goes so far. Oh, yeah. It's insane. Definitely need to have like 10 spare paintbrushes available that you don't care about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hmm. Hmm? Yeah. Number four. Phenomena. Number five. Phenomena. Oh, oh, oh. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Now, buck up, boy. Well, what was funny is you stopped mid sentence and went, Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no. My obligation. It's like Ghost Rider. <laughs> oh, we may, we, a deal is a deal. Even though there's no deal. I can see why these fancy Frenchmen like this oil paint. You know, my gut feeling says that when I bought these number 11 hobby blades, I think I got ripped off. Why is that? Because there was a hundred of them. And that's what's left after 11 years. Um, I think you're okay. (laughs) I think you made out all right on that transaction there. Oh, yeah. Well, Ian, I planned ahead. I got another 100. Oh, boy. There you go. All right. So after much annoyance, I just decided to use super glue like solder. There you go. Okay. Nice. Very nice. <clears throat> Super glue like solder. Looks stick stuff. Looks that's uh, what black shit, isn't it? Mm-hmm. This stuff. It's good. It's good stuff. Huh. This is my favorite stuff. And it's you see it's uh well it's just called black, but uh that actually implies that it's thick because they have a thin Right here, it's the thin stuff. This is good for like really small photo etch. Who's that from? VMS. Hmm. It's out of Poland. Those those crafty Polish. I'm still yeah, using the BSI. Poland single handedly keeping General Dynamics alive when the U.S. isn't spending money on tanks. Actually, we have General Dynamics right up the road for me. When you said General Dynamics, I automatically thought F-16s. 
Yeah, no, I was talking M1 Abrams. They do the the howitzer shells up here. What we yes. used to say on the flight line was general dynamics. The defect goes in before the name goes on. <laughs> that makes sense. If you had ever worked F-16s, you'd know exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> I could imagine. Checks out. Single engine fighter. What could go wrong? They're good birds. It's they just are. they hate the ground. They hate the ground. Most yes. planes do. Mm, yeah, if you true. if if you let them down, let them on the ground for too long, they break. Just sitting there, they'll just break. Yeah, but if you fly the piss out of them, they're great. Oh, there you go. I'm actually going to use my pin vise as a pin vise. What? Oh, crap. No. Stop oh, no. It. You'll anger, you're Todd. angering Buck. Todd, are you okay? Stop doing things correctly. I lost track of, the, of how many pin vices I actually have. And look, here's one with a drill bit in it. Just sitting on the table. Okay, the less paint I put down, the cooler the effect is, and the quicker it starts looking like a thing. So it doesn't look like a thing without the uh, paint? Oh, man. Oh, I'm starting to like these oils. Yeah, you're getting the oil itch. A little bit of a learning curve here for sure, especially when, you know, you're as learning and impaired as I am. But, wow. You're, yep. You're going to get to the point like me where it's like you actually have this internal fight every time you go to do weathering and you're like, do I want to use oils or do I want to use enamels? Oh, oh boy. The oils are a lot of fun. Yeah, these are really nice. I'm like, I'm like going to me a panel liner? Really? Oh, uh, yeah. You can do panel washes or, yeah, liners. Way better than to me a panel liner. I'm like, uh, I could just put literally one cent of this paint in a cup with a bunch of thinner. And I have an entire jar of panel liner. You got it. Instantly. And you can make your own colors too, well, or pick whatever color you want. You don't yeah, have to yeah. Black. You could you could yeah, do a couple different colors and you could do a black with a little blue or green in it and mm -hmm. get a really unique. Blue's good for sands or gray with your uh one you're gonna be building soon. If you're doing it in gray. Um I'm not sure if you said which color you're doing yet. Oh, the uh, Stug? Yeah. The Stug I think I'm going to do in uh, Africa Core. Okay. So a good brown color will work with that yellow. Yeah, I got, I, got, uh, I, got, uh, I got a couple of jars. I got Tamiya, the new XF92 and 93, the yellow brown DAC41, and the light brown DAC42. So I got... I got two different DAC colors. That's what I was planning on using on the uh, Stug. The Tiger one, God knows when I'll build that thing. Tear. I mean, because Todd had that genius idea of just throwing us into a group build of one of the most complex model kits I own. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, well, there we go. That just derailed any other build schedules I had going on. Thanks, Todd. Yeah, oh, it's, only two hours, it's only two hours a week. Yeah, yeah, only two hours a week. Like, I'm not going to want to cheat. I'd gladly build it. You can't it with cheat. You. You're not allowed to work on it during the rest of the week. Oh, you're not? Is that no. the rule? We yes. didn't discuss that. Yeah, we just did. <laughs> you like how that worked? Apparently so. Well, I guess that's, you know. 
Actually, the problem is, cool. Todd, the amount of parts sprues in that thing is going to take up half of my garage. Uh huh. That's okay. Didn't I didn't understand say we, what you're getting at. He didn't say we couldn't do prep work, though. No, like if you want to, like if you want to take all your parts and and you know prime them, and you can't do that at your desk. I mean, that's fine. Uh, now he's coming up with excuses. He's coming up ex with excuses for oh, you. Oh. Don't don't. Uh, knock it. I don't. I don't know. I'm not sure. I like. I can't. I can't do the spray paint here. That's got to be done in the garage or outside. Yeah. Yeah. But. Well, luckily I'm in my garage. <laughs> I'm already. I'm already outside almost. Oh, these oils look great. Todd, did you do you try these things yet? I have not. Oh, they're so nice. There's a little bit of a. A learning curve like todd the only thing i could say with my idiot level of knowledge here so far is use way less paint than you think you need that's what like I if you think oh i'm gonna i'm gonna squeeze out the size of a pencil eraser nope you don't need that much nope it's that will last you a week up. yep like literally So a starving one. artist. There we go. Yeah, just use the uh... much better. There we go. Look at there. Hmm. There we go. It always looks better in brass. So you paint right over it. So you paint right over it. Yep. I like the the denting and stuff you can do. It's just it's a better construction construction material. Well, once you once you anneal it, it really will uh, bend to your wishes. But I'm um, pun intended. Oh man! <laughs> I even got Jordan on that one. <laughs> He's like, oh dear God, what have I got myself into? So I would gladly do the tiger alongside you when, when you get there. Tiger one? Yep. I didn't start. No, no, I, I can't commit myself to any more buddy builds. I'm having anxiety no. attacks already just no, thinking about I'm the not, Falcon. I'm not asking you to commit. I'm just saying when you're up for it, Ugh. I would work on it alongside you. Yeah, you know, the only problem is, is, you know, with a six-way buddy build, no one will notice how bad I am. A two-way oh. buddy build with Donnie, it's already pretty obvious who's the better modeler, but yeah, no, I I'm sorry. Armor oh. building with you? Oh, dear. Oh. I'm like, well, if you want the uh, maximum effort, zero intelligence approach, follow me. <laughs> well, look at it this way. Then maybe that German guy would come to my channel and stop complaining about your throat clearing. There, yeah. <laughs> By the way, model making guru, the guy that did the really good oil wash video for the uh, uh, Millennium Falcon. He mm -hmm. burped. He burped on one of his videos, like straight off in the intro. Just burp. let one rip. <laughs> Did you comment and like say something about that? Or I was going to. I was thinking about it. And so you this... didn't. No. Coward. <laughs> I know. I know. Sorry. That's okay. But not really. I know. This looks a little uh, paintbrush marky right here. Gotta wipe that mm. down. Wait a sec. Oh, no, that goes to the Wait a All sec. Right. You told me buy one get one free. That door is now complete. Nice. It's not lit. It's not done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Donnie's gone. It does have a door marker. A little light. 
I, I'm just I'm just filling in for Donnie. That's all. Does light work in the door marker? No. Yeah, it's not done. Well, not done. Oh, I gotta stand again. Oh, I hate standing. Then sit. I can't do this while I'm sitting. Sounds like Ooh. you got a dilemma. I know. <laughs> okay, all right. We'll get these ports on. I already have to put off. I'm waiting for the stomping to start upstairs. <laughs> is that the is that the mating call? Or what is that? <laughs> no. The mating call. No, that's not what it definitely not what it is. No. It's the opposite of that. It's the it's time to get up here and you know it's like, make you your know, wife happy. When I hear the stomping, the next thing I hear is the Imperial March. Just hope the wife is not watching the stream. No, she's not. <laughs> we have a rule. Dude, last I left her, she was watching the Little People Big World or something like that. Oh, no. I'm so sorry. I know. I appreciate that. Oh, boy. All right. Right under the other door. Excellent. Okay. Not the other door. The one over there? Yeah, that one. These windows are taking a lot longer than I expect. That's what she said before she changed her profile to I don't do windows. A single? <laughs> it's like the graphic designer's resume. I don't do windows. <laughs> And really just keep manipulating these oils for a while. Oh, yeah. You ever, you ever seen this in a part work? What? Oh, Twisty Tie Guy got you. I always wonder, how do you get assigned that job at the factory in China? The Twisty Tie Applier. That's all right. On on the interior piece, if you're not paying attention, you because I didn't see the twist tie, and I broke a piece right off the door interior. I had to re-glue it. Because the guy was tied, who, who a little tiny piece was twist tied in. Oh, gone. Broke that right off. You're the assuming guy, that, you're assuming he's an adult. The guy who oh, did no, this is this is child labor. A 13 year old <laughs> painted this. This is child labor. <laughs> this part work brought to you by Ugers. Oh. Hey, <laughs> you never know. Dave lives a sheltered life. <laughs> eh. Just I'm enough. Just, I, I'm not. I don't say, think that I've lived a sheltered life. I don't think that's true at all. I just, I'm just young. I don't. It's just some reference I just don't get. And I also live in Pennsylvania. We're like we're always like 20 years behind everyone else. It's like that's Napoleon all. Dynamite. <clears throat> mm -hmm. I'm gonna get you an endurance T-shirt. With a little horse logo on it. You should get a shirt that says Amish Shmamish. Amish Shmamish? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Amish my wife? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Mennonite. Amish with iPhone. <laughs> Amish featuring Wi-Fi. <laughs> Amish, but with power. Uh, full size van is actually usually the telltale sign. Is it like uh, uh, the the Toyota? Uh, or like an Econoline? 
Oh, yeah, the Econo line. Econo line. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, or they have a ton of money on. and they buy one of those big sprinter vans. No, no, not one of those. No, no, it's a very, very particular model. That's all they buy. So that I've seen. Like if you're in South Jersey and you see a Toyota minivan, give it a wide berth. <laughs> Just just stay far away from it on the road. Let somebody pass you. You don't want to be anywhere near that thing. Why? Oh, Lakewood. <laughs> the major Toyota dealership down there holds the record countrywide for the most crash panels sold in the country. It's... <laughs> Well, Bad drivers. <clears throat> and the majority of those are for Toyota Sienna minivans. They probably have like the best soccer team in the area though. Um, I don't think so. No? <laughs> so no, they're not soccer mom vans? That's the uh, Hasidic community. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah, New York got too expensive and they just invaded South Jersey. like the Bensonhurst Brooklyn of Jersey. <laughs> Steve's not here anymore. He would know. I don't like to go on that side of the state line. Yeah, you, you're better off. Yeah. Like, you know, Central and North Jersey, great food, restaurants, you know, there's some, some stuff to do. What? No. I didn't see one. Where? There's some things. Oh, Todd's missing a part. Ask, ask it. Come on, ask the question. Over there. Uh, Todd's checking his garbage. Check under the bed. That's where it was last time. Todd has the part. Everyone just know that Todd has the part. Look in that closet. He's just uh -oh. misplaced it temporarily. Later, Hammer. There's a little piece of tape right here. Was it underneath that or something? Uh oh. He's heating up. Did you find it? Oh, geez. Annealing. Nice. More Rainbowy. I think I'm going to rest on these laurels and let this side dry. I don't really know what else I can. Not a whole ton left to do. Look in that closet, Todd. Where it is. Todd, check your fridge. It probably ended up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right for that part. We're over there. In the fridge. Ask you know, I, what he did with it. I have yet to find a missing part in the fridge, but it would not surprise me. <laughs> so, is that just you're prepping for Alzheimer's or what? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm going to be early on set dementia for sure. I'm so expecting it's kind, of, it. it's kind of an important part. Let me get the, let me get the button out. For you. For you. Yeah. Go, Uncle Roger. I actually ah. have a, uh, I have an Uncle Roger orange Nike polo. I found it. Man. It was over there, wasn't it? It was only important. No, that's not. Oh it. my God, no! That's what you were missing. I would have lost my shit. Yeah, that would have been a. I would have freaked. Major glaring, a glaring failure. Oh, oh my you god! Was you can't scratch build that? I mean, I would have freaked out. I just would have emailed Agora, but like, hey, uh, by the way, I'm an idiot. You start all your emails like that? Mostly. <laughs> and I don't know how it's they usually... did it, but that. That is Tampo printed. Wow. I love that Todd, Todd says Tampo now so much. It's because it is. That's that is the true word. Well, I haven't had a lot of models that had printing on them, and and, and I learned it actually from not from you as much as you're excited. It's um, fine. Um, from excited. Lego, because it's when they make a big deal about the parts that are printed in a Lego set. Yeah. Which I picked up two more Lego sets. Um, I picked up the the uh, Mercedes McLaren F1. Ooh. Hi, Richard. I think that one actually looks like the car. Some of them yeah, don't no, really yeah. 
No, it's a it's a big size too, so it's oh. Uh, uh, later, Richard. See you, Richard. Right, Twenty a.m. Yeah, get some sleep. I stole my bye. I'm actually doing to do the same. I uh, uh, I'm just getting tired, so I'm gonna call. Our sampling has commenced. That's his excuse. He hears the Imperial March. Um, he's done um, a kneeling, um, so he's gonna be a laying. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oof. That was pretty, that's pretty good. That I'm was end on that one. That's a good one to end on. This is well, guys. well done. Later, Dave. Hey, Dave. Hey, Dave. <laughs> Oof. And then there were four. This thing looks properly dirty now. If anyone wants to see a before and after. There we go. Oh no! Oh, I had lead. Uh, I'll deal with that. <laughs> Dirty. Man, you weren't kidding about the curved line tape getting hot. Yep. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, you gotta do like three to five second bursts. Yeah, and I'm like, like wait, I, I've been super unsuccessful on the curves so far so i'm like oh well, that's to... why i sent you those parts because i said these things yeah. have got to be a bitch to fill with resin yeah if you could master look... those neck panels you're good oh you're, you you're burning up my retinas who is jordan's Me. burned my retinas out with his uv light yeah you wearing the glasses i am okay that's good because it looks like you've got like a UV floodlight that would fit on like you know a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this thing is uh, pretty pretty intense actually. Yeah, the stronger the flashlight, the more that tape's going to react. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I think I could have put a light in there. A light? I could have put a light in the blinker, the side indicator. Oh, is that plastic? And then metal? it would have been done. It's plastic, and there's but a no. Yeah, but is that like a wing? Let me see if I can get a light in there. Yeah, it's a wing. See? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But there, that's through there's plastic. An indicator. Let me, let, yeah. me see if, let me see if I can. Oh yeah. If I could shine a light right through up. Oh there. yeah. Is that a blinker on the real car? Yeah, you could totally oh, you put a light there. You could have definitely glued a nano LED to. Oh the yeah, thing. for sure, for sure. But then running yeah. the wiring would have been. Yeah, because those with are the motorized system. doors, right? They're motorized scissor doors. Yeah. Yeah, that would have been tricky. Look, look at this! Look at this big chunky metal gear contraption thing on here. Oh yeah, cool. Preassembled. Yeah, I yeah. see a, I see a bottle of schmoo in your future. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's Do you have free... schmoo? I have schmoo. Yeah, schmoo that thing up for sure. I'm pretty well, sure I can just use differential oil, right? Um, I would I'm just probably... kidding. Stop, stop. You don't need to correct me. I was just kidding. Stop, stop. I was gonna say coconut butter. <laughs> Go organic, Todd. You know, if Jordan hits that thing with much more UV light, he's going to straighten out that curved panel. I know. <laughs> I'm just curious to see, like, so far I've been getting, like, a bunch of bleed through from the uh, curved line tape. And so, like, I'm just trying to figure out ways of not getting that happen. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, <clears throat> it's a learning process, which yeah. is. You know, why I tried to send you a variety of panels, but when I saw those neck panels, I was like, oh, this is going to drive him absolutely crazy. Yep, and it's been doing so, so far tonight. I keep coming yeah, back even, just getting pissed. Even if I was going to resin the entire saucer, I would have probably just used the stock windows for the neck. I don't know if Todd disagrees on that. I disagree. Now I know. Well, that actually, that method turned out good. I just needed to pick more bubbles out, so that was the best one so far. The bubble picking is the the really tricky part that made yeah. me kind of tap out. 
I'm realizing right now that I need a much stronger light that I can focus in on. So I'm going to, I need to purchase something tonight on stream. So I'm going to need to do that. The Solar Res Resonator. Nice. Yeah, the high, the high output one. Yeah, this is the high output light they sell. It's it's very powerful. Yeah, Even though it's the, small. Uh, it runs on an 18. Fire. Or whatever. And it's the same thing. It's basically the same power output. But, yeah, Solarize was just a little uh, delayed on their shipping. So. Yeah, they're a little pricey, too. Uh, yeah. Wait, Ian complaining about price? No, the Solaris flashlight, I think, is horribly overpriced. <clears throat> I ordered it because but I just it is didn't very have the. Good. Yeah, it's extremely good, but I just didn't have the time to, like, order 17 UV lights to find out which one was the Chinese generic for Solaris's resonator for, like, one quarter the price, most likely. <laughs> um, but, yeah, if you just want to. If you just want to hit the easy button, just, just the solar res light. Todd sold me on it. It was fine. Yeah, I know I it's a waste of money somehow. <laughs> I just didn't have the luxury of waiting. Like, I need to get going on. Uh, if I want to resume episodes on this, I need to uh, get moving. So, yeah, and somebody just talked about Amazon purchases. Do you need any? Do you need any help or are you doing all right? You just learn on your own? I, I'm doing fine. Um, okay. I, if I can't. I, like I, I would, I would ask this. I'm noticing that there's a little bit of the resin that bleeds through and gets onto the whole panels. Is that normal? No. Um, and, yes and, and no. Well, Ian, Ian, do you want to answer? Well, no. I mean, with the with the UV tape, you really got to burnish down the tape on the outside properly and do it in tiny yeah. sections on a curved section like that. Because Todd's explained this on his website numerous times. Yeah. Yeah. And I've read it. Before I decided I don't want to put in that amount of effort. Um, but it's like you got to go like almost one line of windows at a time and just burnish it down. I was kidding, by the way. I, I'm not. I'm just just regurgitating Todd's wisdom, really. But yeah, the, the, that the, like Todd said at the beginning of the stream, that compound curve of the neck. I can't even. I can't even imagine trying to do well, that myself. When you use the Tamiya, you have to make sure it, it's it, it is pushed pretty hard into the holes Got because it. it's going to back itself off anyway. Um, right. You know, it doesn't. Ha it's not the most adhesive tape in the world, uh, and it's going to back itself off. So you have to really push in the holes. And what I was doing is I would use my fingernail because. I didn't use gloves when I put the resin in. I, got it. Get it on. You get it on. You wash it off. Uh, yeah. I never got it on me, so I stopped using gloves early on. Um, and but you need to, you need to. You, I was using the edge of my fingernail to push it into the the uh, deck lines. Okay. Otherwise, it's just going to go into the deck line and run along the deck line with capillary action and go right to the next thing. Mm. So I don't know if that's what you're running into. Um, Not specifically, this is what I'm running into right now. I don't know if you can pick it up. It's hold uh, on, hold on. Make, one, make, one him, make him big so I can see. I am. I got it. So it's kind of like, ah, man, this camera sucks. It's just just so, flowing everywhere. It's coming out of the windows. Out. Yeah, it's coming out of the windows. Yeah. So the tape's not sealing, or when you're putting it in, you're pushing down on the tape. You definitely don't want to push down on the tape when you're like if you have okay. to pick bubbles out or anything like that you don't want to push the tape away from the window um, oh yeah that's like but if you're in there if you're in there picking at it and you push down on the tape and push it away from the it doesn't take much you push away from the window and it just leaks out and you'll never see okay. it and then you do it and then it's resin then it's over you know yeah so this is what i'm getting on the like the flat panels and i was able to get uh pick it up I was able to get super clear, flat, no bleed through on the uh, flat panels. So I'm pretty confident in that. I'll be able to move on to the deck panels. But it's this curve that is the thing for sure. Mm -hmm. If you can okay. get that, and I'm telling you, I didn't, I didn't get that working to really good. And I, I did sections maybe an inch and a half long at a time, one deck by deck, because mm. you, I, I would do like maybe six or eight windows at once. 
then peel it off, do the next section, peel it off, do the next section. The tape can only do so much. And yeah. that way you can kind of focus on it. Um, and like when you're doing the flat panels, make sure when you pull the tape back, you peel it completely back on itself and pull it like you're doing masking tape, but like paint tape, pull it, yeah. pull that resin back 180 degrees, fold it back on itself and then peel it back at an angle. Um, if you try to pull that tape straight up, it's going to pull the paint off or it can. Um, and don't definitely don't leave the paint sit on there. Like put the paint on, put the tape on, resin the windows, pull the tape off. Don't let the tape sit on it for overnight or anything like that. That tape will start, it'll pull the paint. Okay. I'm talking about the UV resin tape, not the curve. Curve tape doesn't, yeah. doesn't stick. Okay. Yeah, when you're when you're putting it in, when you're filling those windows in, did you do you have a little applicator or something? Uh, I have a tiny little applicator at the end here, and then tomorrow I have. Uh, yeah, see, like my in, solar res it. has the his little bent needle. Yep, I have a uh, I have some applicators <laughs> coming with bent needles coming in tomorrow. And that's that's a godsend, right? Yeah. Um, and I just squeeze. I put a little into each window, check it for bubbles. But definitely, you you just want to you want to pick the bubbles out, but you definitely don't want to push on the tape because that's that'll cause your leak bleed, your bleed. Perfect. Um, and just push the tape on there really good. Don't worry about it. If if it ends up because the the resin's going to expand when it cool, when it cures. Mm. So unless you're pushing it so hard that the tape goes down into the window, you're going to end up with a flat surface or a slightly concave surface, which is also fine. Okay. <clears throat> Sweet. And you're doing the flash thing, right? Flash the outside surface for like a few seconds just to set that yep. to a flat surface. And then you can cook it from the inside and cook it for, you know, 10 seconds at a time or five seconds at a time and then go back to the outside. No, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> no, yeah. I, I flash the outside for like two seconds. But it, I don't know about your resin, but mist, my solar res will fully cure in like 10 seconds to the point where it's hard enough. And then 30 seconds is what they say. But I do like two seconds on the outside just to cure. I want that outside layer to be right up against the tape and flat, right? Because mm -hmm. like I said, I'm sorry, it doesn't expand, it shrinks. So the cure, the, the, because if you don't do that, if you were trying to just blast the outside and just cure the whole window from the outside, maybe even in short bursts, the window is going to recess like this because it's going to shrink. Um, oh, yeah. so you, that's why I say do the outside surface. You do the outside surface for like two seconds. Then you can go back to the inside and you can just do it. I, I usually just run it over like, you know, not very fast. I just do a, maybe a couple, three, two, three revolves like that. Let it cool because that's what I stop for. That's why I say two, wait 10 seconds, two, wait 10 seconds. You yeah. know, because you're letting it cool because it gets hot. Um, and just let it cool. I don't know how the Mr. Resin is, but I assume it's very close. Yeah. Right, Ian? Yeah, it is. It, it cures very fast. Yeah. About. Um, and then I do like, I, I'll get res. like, yeah, two shots of like, Two seconds inside, and I'll give it like five seconds. Two seconds on the inside, I'll give it five seconds. Two seconds on the inside, give it five seconds. Then I'll go back to the outside, get it done. Then I pull the tape off, right? I'm Even though I've only done like 10 seconds of curing, I'll pull the tape off, and then I can cure it as much as I want because then now the tape's not hurting anything, right? I can sit there and just oh. keep going over it and keep going over it. And keep. You just want to cure those outside layers so it doesn't shrink and change shape on you. Okay. Uh, great advice. Perfect. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do I buy Ooh. on Amazon? Speaking of Amazon, I just had something arrive. I will be right back. I have some. I don't know where my tools are. I'm really upset about this. I'm seriously looking at the Sony HDR CX405 Handycam. Like, I want to try it, I think. <sighs> Um, is that you, I Buck? Yep. Don't know. <laughs> Get up early in the morning. I'm um, not sure. Sweet. My single blade nippers just arrived. Oh. And. My pre-wired. Uh, Are you going to show LEDs. us? Yes. Let's see. Oh, there you go. The pre-wired LEDs for um, the Razor Crest. I thought I was going to. I thought about getting a lighting kit, but for much less, I could just create my own, and I need to learn how to do it anyway. So, 
I went ahead and followed your link, Todd, um, for the uh, pre-wired uh, SNLEDs. And uh, yeah, that. And then, let's see here. Do you know that guy, um, the guy that does the... Um, the age of the art of age of plastic or art of plastic the guy that does the quarters on shapeways right for the perfect grade yeah he also makes micro panels and i just ordered some from him today i was talking to him today Ooh. and i i, I want to they're they're light panels so you can like Ooh. light the you can light the lights inside the corridor oh man uh, i so saw that is, it was 23 dollars for the full set for the what? what that's it shipped it? to the u.s Sorry, 23 pounds, like 30 bucks. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I can I can post his email. I mean, if you're interested, just send the guy 23 pounds on 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 uh, PayPal. Wait, the you know. $88 corridor from Shapeways? No, the lighting, the micro panels for the that oh, entire order of the micro panels. I, I have the Shapeways corridor coming and the, the panel for it, the floor. Of course you do. Oh, well, because I have the photo etch. The photo etch was designed to go in there. I, I with know. That guy. I, I know. So I got the corridor. Uh, <laughs> I didn't order did the corridor because it wouldn't get here in time. Yeah, but I don't need it right away. I'll build something else. Because I'm probably going to end up building the sections up, you know, put all the dribblies and stuff on and build it in the sections. I'm not going to follow the instructions per se. I want to do it so I can make it so it's easier to paint. Like, I don't need to paint. I might paint. The, I, I've never painted minis before, so painting the little figures would be fun. But I don't have I'm to. I'm going to mail it. mine to Donnie. That's what I thought. Look at those. Look at those. <laughs> Ooh, the, fancy. Which ones are those? Uh, Ruit Tool. I don't know. <laughs> Unpronounceable Chinese brand name. Yes, indeed. Alphabet Alphabet Soup. Alphabet Soup. Can I get a vowel, please? It's the that Alphabet Soup. Real, they... real nice action on there. When they yeah, get enough, when they get en when they get enough complaints, they just change the alphabet. Yeah. They just re rolls the re roll the Scrabble tiles and just do it again. <laughs> yep. They shake a Scrabble tile bag and grab six or seven. That's it. That's your brand. That's right. Like display. Wow. That Those actually stands for tiny. something. That's why. Display has their. It's an acronym. It's, I'm sure. Okay. It stands for something. I don't know. I'm, I'm okay. I I don't disagree with you. I just have no idea what the hell that could be. And then, where am I? This just through? looks bad. This is the last part of it. Picked up. Uh, I didn't have a. Uh, a uh, soldering kit. So, uh oh, anything that comes in a cloth pouch. Let's see what we got. I know. What brand is that? H I have no idea. Oh dear God! <laughs> what, what's going on in there? Uh, everything uh, apparently that I'll need for soldering ever. Okay. It's got a multi. It's got a multi tool. It's got the sucker. It's got. Uh, is that a voltmeter? It does. Yeah. Oh my! Hey. What is that? Looks like my EMT what? medic bag. <laughs> it's a it's it's a soldering kit. Is there a like, soldering like a, iron in there? That looks yeah, like right somebody here. somebody. It looks like somebody hoarded it in a bag. I know. <laughs> that, oh my that's lord! A, oh my god! What is going on? So it, do you just plug that thing directly into the wall? You do. Oh boy! This can't be safe. Wait a minute! Does it have a temperature control, or you just it's on? It off? does. Okay. Yeah, one, yeah. Oh, it's got a knob. Yeah. Hey, where'd my G yeah. where'd my G screws go? This is... <laughs> There's a knob. It does. It oh dear. How yep. much was that whole bag? Twenty bucks. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to make fun of our fellow friends here, but that's gonna be the worst soldering iron in the world. <laughs> I'm I think sure everything in there is probably bad. I'm just saying. I, I mean, not, <laughs> yeah, I'm not trying to make fun just, of you, but no. <laughs> I wouldn't expect Harbor, the, the high quality results versus, hey, there's a little bit of everything I can try. Harbor <laughs> Freight is laughing under its breath right now, going, uh, oh no, we're fucked. I, I, they beat us. I almost went. I almost went there today to do it. I'm just saying, oh my. I had a, I had a, I had a soldering station that worked. I could have sent you. <laughs> just the shipping would have cost well the shipping would have cost more than the actual soldering station on Amazon you know my my what do you call it thing 
I think you could buy for like 20 bucks. One of my coworkers is like, oh, you solder? I'm like, eh, sorta. He's like, I was like, I got an old soldering station. I don't need it anymore. He's like, oh, how much to ship it to me? And I, I like boxed it and measured it and weighed it. And I was like, 1873. And he goes, I could get a brand new one for $21. And I'm like, do that. Yeah. <laughs> Mine's well, like 12 no. years old. I did things today, so. Oh, should I not? I shouldn't buy a new handy cam on what? the stream. What? Do it. Do it, Ian. You need, you need another camera? It uses the same batteries as my ZV-1. Oh, my God. So? It, it's like it's like begging to be purchased. Well, I don't Wait. have a camera to put on a tripod and remote mount near the 3D printing area. The ZV-1 has batteries? I don't use them. I mean, I'm just plugged in the USB, but I'm saying if I needed to handy cam somewhere, I My have three of those exactly. batteries. Mine's been plugged in for like the last year. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't use the batteries. Like, I mean, technically, I think there's a battery in here. Wait, have, yeah. has, have we done anything to convince <laughs> there went each oh, camera? Oh, oh, the <laughs> ZV-1 doesn't work without the battery in it? No. Has to have the battery oh. or the battery eliminator. Like, I have the battery eliminator. Has anybody yeah. explained to Jordan what camera he needs to buy? No. Oh, God. No, oh, the ZB1's no. expensive, Jordan. Just get the yeah, Sony... No, no. Uh, the HD RCX 405 is only $228. Only and that's what said. Dave uses. No, that's what Dave uses. It's a great camera. I mean, he has, oh, he has no, really sure. good <laughs> close-ups. Like, oh, what now? Well, I have, I have a GoPro Hero 8. And I have the Sony ZV-1 and a Logitech stream cam, like, webcam thing. But Thanks, like, Ian. Hey. I got that, too, because of you. <laughs> yeah, it's a, nice, it's, a nice, it's a nice webcam, isn't it? It is. It is. It's really good. It focuses well. Um, and actually, that was why I got the ZV-1 in the first place. Was what? This. Yeah, I love that. That... that Instant, yes. Yeah, Jordan, focus are here? you watching? Focus there. Are you watching? Yeah, I'm yeah. watching. Instant focus. Do you have <laughs> Do you have something out of focus that you want to, like, instantly focus on? There you Don't go. Don't push the button. <laughs> oh, my God. Dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, made in Florida, of all places. And it's functional. You can actually light the switches and actually activate electronic circuits with it. Oh my god, that's amazing! Yeah. It's got it's got an actual uh, light laser. socket. Fire the laser! It actually has a laser built in. If it did, I'd already be dead. Uh, <laughs> oh god oh. Ian, Ian with an actual high powered laser oh boy no oh, that god. would that would not be a good combination at all no, that would be a terrible idea yeah really really horrible oh okay let's try okay. this Oh my. Oh my. oh my. That. Oh, dude. Proper nippers. Hell yeah. Welcome to the promised land. Wow. Those other ones are freaking trash. Yeah. That's it. Throw once it away. You a, once you get a good set, you never go back, I tell you. Yeah. What should I do? Oh, I need to work on Cut sprue. <laughs> nope. I don't, don't, don't nope. do it. Nope. But uh, we need to figure out final masking spots. By the way, Jordan, not a bad price yeah. on those nippers. No. Uh, I picked them up for I think like sixteen bucks. Yep. Well, you know how I found them. How's that? I, tr 
I tried using your description of the name, and I was like, that ain't working. So I went <laughs> pur purple one-bladed nippers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I gotta, you got to love Amazon because Amazon puts the most absurd things into their search. They really uh, do. Yeah, purple one-bladed nippers sounds about right, Buck. Yeah. It's basically like, uh, yeah, you could just type in knock off God hand and find the same thing. Yeah, but not near as quick. <laughs> no, no. Not near as quick. you have to scroll a bit. Because, well, let's see if I can pull it up again. God, Jordan, that ship is tiny. It is super small, man. What did Lou charge you for those Aztec dummy masks? Like, 35 cents? Uh... uh... <laughs> 20 bucks. Oh my god. I know. It's not as bad as the Enterprise C though. The Enterprise C was 35. Oh my god, is that the Defiant? Yeah. That's so small. It looks so much bigger on your videos. I know. That's what she said. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wow. Low hey, hanging Jeff. fruit, sorry. Hey Jeff J, what's up man? Hey, what's up Jeff? Hey, Jeff. So, yeah, I'm on the my, defiantly uh, small Star Trek model. That's right. Uh, oh my just, god! The door is Freaking bigger than that entire crazy. model by far. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. the door is. The, yeah, the Ferrari's door is certainly larger than Defiant. Is that a torch? Look what do you the, plan on torching? Look at the Aztec dummy. Look how small it is. This is one sheet. Yeah, yeah, you know, I I felt bad that you had to strip the paint on that, but I'm like, well, it was only literally one mil ounce of paint. <laughs> yep. Yep. Exactly. So, Ian, here's what you get for knockoff God hand nippers on Amazon. Oh, here we go. Oh, he's present. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I mean, they're literal God hands, but they're yeah, double they bladed. They're, Those no, are like. I, I think. Are they uh, double bladed? I thought they were single blade. Those are like my $10 wire nippers that I've had for 20 years. Actually, I had a set that looked just like those. At one yeah, time. these are the uh, CHP. These are funny because they were dirt cheap. You can get a, like a five pack of them for like forty bucks. Yeah. Um, they're they're made in Italy, oddly enough. And I, I these are great for snipping off kind of like really nasty big pieces of plastic, and even metal wire. I'll cut like piano wire with those. They're fine. I learned so, very quickly, though, even with the uh, the Tamiya nippers, you cannot cut piano wire with Tamiya nippers. No. Nope. That That's bad. <laughs> yeah, that was bad. That's why I have two pairs of these now. <laughs> I was like, oh, this tank antenna. I'll just nip this off real quick. Nope. So that's it for me, guys. All right, Buck. All right, Buck. See you on thir or, uh, Thursday. Wednesday. Yeah. Yes. Well, Wednesday. You, what? Uh, Wednesday. Uh, Wait. Sunday. I've lost my mind. Sunday. Oh my you don't. Sunday. You, you don't have a Falcon. Perfect grade. Yeah, yeah but I can, can still you see you on the stream. Yeah. 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 You could watch us. Yeah. Yeah. Well, please ridicule weird. me in the comments. I will. Oh, yeah. He will. Oh my God. It Matter of fact, so good. I, yeah, I will. I may sneak in, but not join and sit there and beg Ian just so everybody can see. <laughs> oh, please don't do that. <laughs> so, see you guys Sunday. See you uh, later, night. Buck. Oh, my back is killing me. I had to climb a 25-foot ladder the other day in a factory. You said that to... when we first started the stream. Oh, I had to walk across the top of a fridge... A fridge and I was like are these panels meant to support the weight of a full grown plus fat ass adult human and he's like I don't know it's fine I've been working here for a year I haven't fallen through yet I'm like okay a well New Yorker yeah really oh that's the end of the stage well, right there you go and he's like that's uh that's the end of the pack. he's like uh, he's like that looks like a network rack and I'm like yes it is are you, you guys hanging those... out, or or what's going on? I don't know. I'm, I'm uh, yeah, I'm I, 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 I,
Um, I mean, I'm not here for like three more hours. And I lost another part. Oh, God. Why is that Handycam calling my name? Where? Where's my No, other? I can't buy the Handycam. I can't. <laughs> okay, I've got a set of Makita drill bits in my shopping cart for $11. And then I'm like, oh, $228 Handycam. No problem. Let's, let's do this. <laughs> and I'm just, no. Do I really need it? No, no, but that's not the point. Eh, it's not the point, but I'm just really trying to think uh, critically. <laughs> no, 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 I don't need it. I'm just going to know. I'm going to just go to checkout. Is there some honey options here? Where'd that go? Oh, see, no, no. It was two hundred and eleven dollars thirty days ago. I'm not buying it for two twenty eight. Nope. Oh my god. Yeah, Amazon's fickle. Where did that go? Is there anything else I need? Oh, pink sponges. <laughs> I might need those. Oh, Jordan, you don't know why I need pink sponges, do you? I don't know. Okay, so here's 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 the thing, is um. So the ha my plan for the happiest soldering iron on YouTube, as you can see, was uh -huh. to replace the black sponge with a pink sponge, like a tongue. So it looked like a tongue. So you'd have the little okay. googly eyes and then the tongue. But I have to buy a twenty-four pack of sponges. To get a pink sponge so I can cut a, a shape out to fit in here so it looks like See a tongue. You. See you, Keith. Nope. Good night, Keith. Later, Keith. Yeah. See? So, I, I, is that a worthy expense? I mean, you could probably just go to Dollar Tree or Dollar General or whatever. They don't have pink. I already checked. <laughs> uh, and and honestly, I'm I, I fear going into a Walmart these days. It's self checkout yeah. everywhere. All right, let me go get yeah. pack nine. Maybe I can get through making at least the second door. Yeah. What else? Oh, garden hose. Oh, ah, that's been in my save for later cart. Oh, there's the vacuum chamber that Todd bought. Eighty bucks. Oof. <laughs> Not buying that thing. That was a mistake. Vacuum chamber. God. Jesmo auxiliary holding arm. Yeah, that might not be a bad idea. Well, I don't have a camera to put on it. What does it matter? I picked up a uh, small <sighs> paint booth this morning, actually. Oh, on a little plastic fold-up ones. Yep. Yeah, those that, are nice. You know, that's not a bad little. It's not a bad little booth. I have. No, those are good little. Those are good little. Nope. Especially for the Defiant. Perfect. Perfect spray booth. Yeah, the if one you're doing like, is like it's 19 inches long. Actually, I was kind of surprised. It's a if you're long. doing this thing. Not quite big enough if it's fully right. assembled. But if right. you're doing it like one wing at a time, you're okay. Well, if I'm doing lacquer inside, I need, like, it was just that whole thing with doing the primer the other day. I'm like, no, no, no. I have no cancer. I, no. Oh, yeah, no, yeah. That's, What's that's, wrong with cancer? That's, it's no bueno. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I generally try to avoid it, you know. For the yeah, yeah, yeah. My, my dad has that. I, I don't want to follow in his footsteps. <laughs> between between going to the beach in the seventies and nine eleven, my dad's got like all the cancer. Mm. 66, Here here's how bad it is in New York. It's it's so that was two thousand one. Thirteen years twenty wait, sorry, twenty three years later, they finally called my mom back and said, Oh, can your husband come down for a physical so we could evaluate? Oh, my God. And meanwhile, he's in a rehab facility and can't walk right now. They're like, no, he can't come for a physical. Talk to our attorney. I 
I mean, I was in Midtown when that happened, but I was I was down there. I was down there a bit. Not fun. Very smelly. Yeah, I can only imagine. Uh, I should get some more, some more JST connectors. What does this have a paint dot on it? Between Todd and Corey, I'm always looking for JST. Oh my connectors. gosh, they painted a little dot on this part too. I need DuPont connectors. That's what I need. Really? JST yeah. Micro 1.25. Yeah, I know. I have plenty of those. I need DuPonts. 2.54. There we go. I don't want a crimping tool. No, I don't want to roll my own. I just want pre-made DuPont Oh, I've, I've tried. I've tried multiple times to find a crimping tool and the ends for 1.25 doesn't exist. No, for the DuPont? No, for the micro. Oh, no. Yeah, no. I'm not it doing exists. that. No. Corey's got the machine, Todd. Yeah, well. His is like big, fancy DuPont machine. I'm just like, eh, nope. I'll pass. Momentary power switch. Oh, that's the door lock. Ha! <laughs> Under the handle. Ha! 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 The cool uh, thing about this mouse tech dummy is that uh, he used the uh, decals like the uh, decal numbers is the uh, numbers for the uh, for the Aztec dummy itself. So you just place it based on where the decals are supposed to go. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you'll get. You'll probably get to meet Lou at Wonderfest. Oh, awesome. Sure. Yeah, we will be there. Lou's a nice guy. He's he's a happy dude. I've been watching a lot of his videos because I'm getting ready to use all of his Aztec dummies, and like I have one coming for the Razor Crest as well. That one was only like ten bucks. Don't tell Lou I bought the mask design set for the refit. <laughs> He'll be like, you what? How dare you? Well, I mean, I was just listening. I was watching Boyd's videos for all these years at Trekworks. Um, I hope Boyd's doing okay, by the way. He was, uh, yeah, he's battling, he's battling cancer. Um, but yeah, I was I was watching Boyd, and he always used you know the Aztec uh, the you know Aztec dummy, and then he was like this mass design stuff, meh, 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 meh. and I was like, okay, I guess I'll buy that. <laughs> and now I feel horrible because I'm like, oh, Lou, I'll order his stuff for the uh, Katinga or the Kronos one. I'm not building a, I have a Kronos one kit. <clears throat> but I'm not building the Kronos One with it. Yeah. What I'm building is an attack on Deep Space Nine, Katenga class. I like that. So I'm going to use that kit with the modern nacelles, but I'm going to paint it like a grunt ship attacking DS9. Cool. So not the ornate red and gold and all the crazy colors. It's going to be a green ship. But it's going to have the fully lit nacelles, just like the attack from the Klingons. On, uh, Dude, that's a super cool idea. On DS9. Because no one's done it. Like, everyone's building it like Kronos 1. And I'm like, buying the photo etch and like all that. I'm like, the only photo etch parts I actually kind of wanted were, were the nacelle photo etch parts. But I'm not spending that ridiculous amount of money. Because that's a Paragraphics photo etch set. Polar Lights is selling it for double the price of what Paragraphics would sell it for. Oh my god. So like, Polar Lights went to Paragraphics said, make us the photo etch. Like, we already made it. They're like, give us the exclusive rights to sell it. And they're like, yeah, uh, but we, we charge as much. They're like, we'll pay you full price and charge double. <coughs> and that's why you have the Polar Lights photo etch set for the Kronos One. And it's like a million dollars. It's more than the kit costs. They actually have that at uh, my local shop. I was kind of surprised. Which the the photo etch or the kit? No, the the, the kit. The kits. The, I mean, they have that at my hobby town. 
Uh, they just, there's no Star Trek crap in my. Uh, oh no! Uh, yeah, my my hobby town. If if refit kits are available, they'll have one on the shelf. They if had Carlos ones. ones that went away at Christmas time. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, well, the the hobby town near me is a Bandai flagship store. They have like a oh. six foot tall Gundam standing there. So they get everything from Bandai, and they usually have they have pretty much everything sci-fi. They have they have the big scale Eagle Ones. They have when they're available the refits and the Connies and the Chronoses and the Katingas and everything. They have the chariots on the shelf. They have everything. Wow. Yeah. Well, that's a it, it's odd. It's an oddity of hobby towns because most of them are like okay. Uh, most of them are like heavy RC. This one is very, very serious about scale modeling and wargaming and tabletop games. And they have a, a lot of RC, obviously, but they also have like children's stuff like STEM learning and yeah, they have a of that at mine. huge model railroad section. They have scale electrics. They have a lot of uh, track cars and, you know, slot car stuff. Yeah, that's half of mine is all slot car stuff. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, the hobby town near me is like seven hobby towns in size. Jesus. It's the, well, I mean, I've said it 17,000 times. Already. It's the biggest hobby town in America. Mm. He yeah. has said that so many times. Yeah. It, you have to see it to believe it, though. It's like, it's so big. It's like if you go to Japan and you're in like Akihabara and you go to one of those like eight floor hobby stores, it's Hot. that big just all on one floor. Pretty crazy. Oh, this oil paint smells different. To me, uh, smells funny to me when I'm spraying it. To me, yeah. To me, acrylics. I like the way it smells. Don't get me wrong. It's just it, it smells like it's it's a unique smell for sure. Oh, it's very mild. I'm sniffing my mop. Can see? people can see me <laughs> sniffing my shuttle? Oh, I definitely have to. Ah, there we go. I love this stuff. I can just just dab it with the brush, and it still manipulates the uh, the oil paint. That is amazing. My God. This is so stubborn. weird. Why are you being so stubborn? When is this going to dry? Never, I guess. Never gonna dry. Get my other brush. And so you smash a pin. Oh my God, if you wait a while and just drag a, a moist brush. Oh. Oh, it just, it just, it just rain marks. It streaks, oh my God. Wow. That is crazy. That is wacky how that works. Oh my gosh.
I really mm. am trying to figure out these oil paints still. This is insane. We're soaking through my cardboard. I don't think these will dry. Like, I can come back tomorrow and probably still use these blobs of oil paint. Yep. <laughs> That is crazy. All right. Then I get all of them. I think so. Before Are you recording this so you can do it in your video? Uh, I recorded the uh, first two layers of it. Uh, I was trying to keep it from being getting too long. So um, I'm going to just get this layer down, and then I'm going to be recording the, uh, the final base coat. Um, and then the tape pull for the uh, end of the episode. So, just trying to keep my episodes a little bit more focused, less uh, dead time. Kind of explain, show what I'm doing, and then take care of it, and then come back to it later on. That's a good idea. Well, it's working. Took your advice as well, Ian, and uh, I've been kind of like working through like my descriptions of my videos. I'm getting more views, and um, oh, the keywords and stuff. Yeah, it's really it's like working. naming naming them differently. Yeah. 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 Putting putting the words in the title and the description really help big time and you know, i was like sitting on like like i was sitting like three subscribers short of 250 for like two weeks like i was like skyrocketing skyrocketing and then i just stopped <laughs> and that then, happens um yeah yeah for sure making those adjustments i've picked up like uh 10 subscribers since then so oh that's Pretty nice pretty. yeah also, it's that outro. Uh, that outro uh, brings all the boys to the yard. That yeah. outro is pretty damn sweet, man. Uh, this is the uh, left door for the La Ferrari. Ooh, hell yeah. Jeff. Jeff, Jeff was asking. Yeah, La Ferrari yeah. is... Uh, One of the scissor doors. The La Ferrari also comes in alternative limited edition black, but I think the red's better. And I, as Todd knows, right. not a fan of red Ferraris. Well, I like them. <clears throat> but the La weird. Ferrari needs to be in a color. No, I didn't want it in black. You lose all the details. <clears throat> yeah, it's just a blob. But that 250 GTO in the blue uh, Cinesia, what is it? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God, that thing looks amazing. The blue Ferrari GTO, because it's so just different. A blue Ferrari. Plus, it sold for fifty-six million dollars in real life. There's a headliner. Oh my god! Like the real car. Yeah, those. I can't believe you lost the Ferrari badge, Todd. And you weren't like freaking out more. No, I I found my Ferrari badge. It's, it's oh, it is very nice. All right, final page. Let me work on the interior. Yeah, Jordan, YouTube's very fickle. Like one, like last year at the end of the year, I think in November, it was like uh, estimated revenue, a hundred dollars, and I'm like, oh my god, a hundred dollar air. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, and then like by like January is like forty two dollars, and I'm like, what happened? Same <laughs> amount of viewers, same amount of views, same amount of watch hours. I have no idea what happens with YouTube. Yeah, I don't think anybody does. <laughs> it's an enigma. Like, I'm not counting on this money for anything. I'm just like, pay for just one paint order, please. Right. Just pay for my oil paints, YouTube. That's it. I just need you to pay for the Abbott Lung oil paints. For me, I'm just like, you know, I'm just trying to work towards that. Uh, hopefully one day get Agora or Fan Home to hook me up. So, Well, 2,000 subs is, is the bare minimum before... Uh, the introduction that, that is kind of their magic number, yes. Yeah, yeah, 2,000 subs, unless you really impress them at Wonderfest, if they even go. 
Yeah, I don't maybe know if they're coming this year. Maybe they'll just love you. Oh, I'll whip it out. Don't worry. Oh, wow. <laughs> maybe one of them worked in a restaurant when they were younger, and, you know, they're like, oh, oh yeah, you deserve a, yeah, yeah, someone's got to come up. Yeah. Maybe, like, you do pizza, and we're in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We get pizza oh, man. for free. Dude, my back was actually kind of hurting today because we made 145 pizzas yesterday morning for, uh, for Pi Day. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Pi Day. That's oh, got to yeah, suck. Oh, yeah, it was Pi Day. I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stupid. Stupid. Oh. Stupidest holiday ever if you work at a pizza shop. God. I was telling people no. Like, this one dude called me. Uh, he called the store. I think it was on wednesday and he's like hey i'm trying to feed you know 100 people and i'm like yeah, i'm sorry as soon as we could do anything it was like 1 32 o'clock and he's like well you can just fit something in and i'm like nah bro i'm sorry you know and i was being nice i was being nice i was being nice deflect 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 and then he kept pushing and i'm like look man i'm sorry but you are so fucking late to the party it is unreal uh everyone has gotten in line in front of you <laughs> so sorry i can't do that for you and he just kind of like was like oh man oh uh, yeah and i'm like well, wh what am i gonna do you know oh. and i'm like well you can go to papa murphy's and figure it out man you know like that's gonna be your best bet because every pizza shop was booked in town it was insane son of a oh i'm so angry are you still messing with it and you're screwing it up? No, I'm I'm angry with something else. I'm oh, dealing okay. with something else here, Todd. <laughs> well, I know you're still fiddling with it. That's why I was just like No, 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 no. I'm you're fiddling with more than twice. That's plenty. Doing something it. completely different, Todd. Mind your own business. Ordering a friend a gift, and I'm very upset. Hate you. Oh my God, I've been waiting for months. They didn't email me and now it's sold out. Oh no. I'm so pissed. I emailed them forever ago. and said, just put me on the mailing list. Let me know when it's happening. Nothing. I refreshed the page, it's there and it's sold out. That was fast. Yeah. Sounds yeah, like I'm master. pissed. I am right? pissed. This is like, this thing went faster than Taylor Swift tickets. Oh, I'm so angry. This is, credit card is out. Oh, it's out. Speaking of, that's actually the thing I need to buy. Like, I need to get the uh, paragraphics for the cockpit for the Falcon tonight. You don't have to. Uh, I but, want but all to. The, but all the kid, cool kids are doing it, so. I know. Oh, the uh, hubcap uh, thing from Mike Lane will be here tomorrow, actually. So it's everything for Kit all the way up to the. Uh, I know because Santa came uh, early and got you all loaded up. Yeah, man. But you I was like, had, I was actually, actually like, you actually, go ahead. Oh, go ahead. No, I was just saying, I was like, like looking at it, going, "Holy shit, this is actually a lot." Well, I mean, you really have to thank Mike Lane because he supplied those yeah. to me, and I just want right. to make sure they didn't go to waste. Okay, I got one thing I wanted from this damn seller. It's not even for me. 
Is it for me? <laughs> <laughs> wow. It's really funny because he's right. What? You're not supposed to be getting me anything. It's a token of appreciation. It can't ever possibly repay all the favors you've done. Well, it's fucking sold out, so... Let it well, it well, they, they, they reissued a previously sold that item and released a new item that I wanted, plus I wanted to get you. That one's instantly sold out, uh, but the previous item I wanted to get you that sold out is now available, which will be sold out in a matter of minutes probably anyway. So I ordered one immediately. And then this other one, I'm going to send them a very angry email telling them, I asked you about this months ago and wanted to be put on the notification list. And I don't have, let me check my Gmail inbox first. Hold on. Oh, no. No, that's my order confirmation. Um, nope, they did not send me an email, you bastards. Mm. All right, we're going to attach a door. I'm so angry. Oh, man. Care about your silly door. I'm pissed off. After right I have now. some macaroni. Is that microwave mac? Is that easy mac? This is freshly made club mac, which is macaroni, uh, chicken flavoring, ramen, and kielbasa. I Ooh. don't even want to imagine mm -hmm. what that's going to do to your insides, Todd. But Oh my God, it comes out like Godspeed. Pressed cardboard, but it tastes great. <laughs> Just... Todd, don't order anything weird from websites that you don't normally go to. Um, okay. Are you sending me like a lawnmower? No, I'm not. Actually, I was just looking at an email from Makita for battery powered lawnmowers. They just sent me something like new lawnmowers. I'm like, oh, God. I don't mow my own lawn. We have people for that. They're documented, by the way. Oh, God. I think. I don't really care. They have a driver's license. Good enough for me. Doesn't matter. There we go. Let's see. Oh, God. Kickstarter. Oh, there's an Airwolf update for the Kickstarter. Ah, oh, for backers. I'm currently recovering from COVID. Nothing to report this month. Everyone, please stop emailing and messaging me your address. It does not help me at all. You will receive a confirmation email when Airwolf is ready to ship, and those are the emails that I need confirmed. When I get back to working capacity, I need to clear up a couple of parts with people and will keep shipping the rest out as fast as I can make them. Don't get me wrong, I appreciate the enthusiasm and I'm happy to get these out, but please wait until your number is called. Oh, poor Mars Industries. Oh, best of intentions. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> so, Jordan, there was a guy on Kickstarter that was releasing a 118th scale Airwolf. Ooh. It was meant to be like a G.I. Joe compatible Airwolf. It was, not to oh. it was not meant to be a scale model. It was meant to be a very detailed scale toy. Mm -hmm. but proportional, you know, like a proper scaled airwolf That's meant so cool. to like put your three and three quarter figures in. Yeah. And I signed up for this thing. I don't know, two and a half years ago at this point, it feels like. Oh no. And he, he had a lot of people harassing him and he sent out pre-production prototypes and they were kind of a disaster. And, he got flamed on YouTube and flamed on Facebook and banned from airwolf groups. And oh my God. I've just been like, dude, it's 200 bucks. I'm like, just send me it when it's done. I don't care. I'm not one of those people. I'm like, give me an update once in a while, maybe. But I'm like, uh, if I lose 200 bucks on a Kickstarter, I lose 200 bucks on a Kickstarter. I just right. wanted a giant airwolf to like, paint and possibly light for the channel yeah like it'd be a fun thing to build like i get a lot of views on just my little tiny diecast airwolf that i gutted to try to fix it and that was a failure 
<laughs> God, that was a failure. Um, but yeah, so he sent an update. And he's like, not much of an update. I'm sick. You're all assholes. Leave me alone. That was basically the update. <laughs> I have COVID. The assholes are still assholes. You'll get your shit when I let you know you'll get your shit. Leave me alone. And I was like, okay, great. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least I got one order through this. Oh, I hate you. We don't oh, like you either. Not you, Todd. <laughs> company for not emailing me that this thing was coming out. It's already sold out. How is this? Oh, I hate you. Oh, so upset. Well, within probably about 10 days, Todd. You'll have You're your saying thing. me an airwolf? No, not an airwolf. Nothing related to airwolf. I don't know. You were talking about airwolf. No, that airwolf. was a separate email. I was looking for an email from this company to say, hey, this thing's coming out that you asked about. And uh, it's not. Okay, where's this screw supposed to go through? Uh, Oh, now this thing's still not sold out. Why didn't you just make that many of that one instead of... Oh, I hate you. Yeah. <laughs> and there was no video from Adam Savage about it. How did it sell out that quick? Let me check Facebook. Let me look at the groups. These people are always problems. These Facebook groups, they're, they're a menace. Facebook. Oh, God. They're the worst. I know I need to get onto Facebook so I can advertise my channel, but I just don't want to do it. Oh, please. If you can uh, avoid not... it, I avoid it. Yeah. I've avoided it this long. I'm, I'm still <laughs> going to. I mean, I post stuff on Facebook. I'm on there, but all, they I'm on there every day, but man, is it, it can be toxic. Oh, the yeah. worst groups are the Ghostbusters groups, dude. Don't ever go to the Ghostbusters groups. <laughs> oh, they're bad. It is Man, so that's... toxic. Oh, that's saying something, too, because Star Wars fan groups are pretty bad. <clears throat> Way worse than Star Wars, dude. I promise that's you. Saying something. That's crazy. Ten times worse. I'm in every different fandoms group. Nothing is worse than Ghostbusters. Uh and you know those like those like lonely, fantasizing, making up their own headcanon people that really creep you out? Yeah. That's like 90% of the membership of Ghostbusters groups. Oh, my God. It's really rough. <coughs> they're huge groups, though. And then, oh, God forbid... A huge fan base. There's always a 2016 post, and it goes one way or the other, and it's always bad. <laughs> yeah, you can't talk about t Ghostbusters 2016 and have that go good. No, no, it's it's really, really, really hard. Let me check Ghostbusters fans worldwide. That's 95,000 members. Good Lord. Newest posts. Let's see here. Are the Regal and AMC Ghost Trap popcorn buckets the same? I think the AMC is larger than the Regal version from what I was reading. Oh my God. AMC is a popcorn holder basket type thing to sit down in it, but if you're not going to put popcorn in it, I see no need for that, and you'll pay less money for the Regal one. And then there'll be a fight at some point. AMC <laughs> messed up the doors. There we go. AMC messed up the door. I'm like, you're buying a popcorn bucket. How accurate do you think this thing's going to be? Oh, my God. Uh, now, there's a, now there's a YouTube short video of someone making... A firehouse cake. Like with fondant. Fondant? Oh, they're, they're putting in the window air conditioners. Yeah, now, oh, they're making a giant Stay Puft Man? Yeah, they're making a giant Stay Puft Marshmallow. Oh, God. Oh, and the park is from Frozen Empire. That's a thing. Everybody's got a red parka now they're selling. Oh, God. Yeah, it's, it's bad. <clears throat> oh, they got a new... Ecto one popcorn bucket with the the drone dome on the roof. Oh, there's your ghost trap. Oh my god! Somebody somebody posted a photo of their homemade proton pack earlier today, and it was literally like 
a vacuum cleaner painted blue <laughs> with some red circles glued to it. And they're like, here's my proton back. And people are like, that's amazing. You go, boy. Oh, you be man. you. And and the one person that was like, uh, it doesn't look like a proton pack. Everybody jumped on them like, how dare you criticize creativity? I was like, uh, I was like, I'm just going to keep scrolling. I'm staying out of this yep. one. Yep. Sounds like Facebook to me. Yeah, but whenever a new Canon Ghostbusters movie comes out, uh, 2016 inevitably it causes arguments. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, this new one sucked. 2016 was the best. And it's like, okay, block. <laughs> <laughs> Even Bill Murray would be like, you're wrong. And he did hates everything. The, did you see the Adam Savage where he toured the set of the final? <laughs> I've I've seen every Adam Savage Ghostbusters video, Todd. Yes. It They're so awesome. Epic. Like they did a really good job on the fire. They house. did an epic job. And the new the new you know, he was looking over the new Proton packs and oh my god. The fact that you can go upstairs, you know, and it's one shot. And it's just there, and I'm like, "Oh yeah, yeah." They they built a two floor set, and they did the full exterior. They built the entire firehouse. Yeah. Wow! Like I'm surprised it doesn't have running water in it. It probably does. Okay, not a single post on Ghostbusters fans worldwide in the last two hours. Let me keep scrolling. Oh my god, there's so <laughs> many. Oh, and the Mercedes Sprinter van, you know, which is the uh, Ecto-Z equipment van for the new movie. That thing's making its rounds. And then people are criticizing it. Just because it has your Ghostbusters logo on it doesn't make it an Ecto. I'm like, it's Ecto-Z. Have you seen the cartoon? I'm like, you had Ecto-2. You had the little helicopter thing. I'm like, come on. Yeah. That was Ecto-2. And then there's the, of course, the Bustin' makes me feel good posts, which is always questionable in my mind. <laughs> Wait, what is this post? It's not sure why I saw this, but beware the eyes of Marge. Oh, the eyes of March, but it's the eyes of Marge Simpson. Oh, oh my God. God. Trap giveaway. Oh, someone's got a couple of popcorn buckets. They're trying to get some followers. Okay, fair enough. Okay. I'm not seeing a post about this product that got sold out instantly that I couldn't buy. Maybe they just posted the listing as sold out before they're listing it as in stock. Is that a possibility, Todd? Sure, why not? Someone would list an item as at, sold out just so they can get the listing up to prepare for having available stock to sell? Why not? Okay, that's it. I'm emailing them. I'm sending them an angry email on a live stream. Dear you guys. Uh, dear, yes. We will do beginning of next year. I think I'm putting on my last mask. Okay. Next. Oof. The roof is on fire. Captured by a metal piece, but that's okay. Which is 
Süßen. Mm. Okay. Angry email shut off. Professional yet frustrating sounding. <laughs> like, you know, like, hi there, how are you? I'm so really pissed off right now because you listed this item for sale and it's already out of stock and I refresh your webpage three times a day. That's fine. I wonder how quick that'll ship out. All right. Yeah, they take a minute to ship. A couple days. Why is it every business in California just is like super slow to do anything? California. My wife despises my wife. My wife. despises dealing with companies in California because she's like, they are so slow and lazy to respond and do anything. I'm like, it's eh, California. Sounds, sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. It's California, babe. I'm like, they're like, you know, they're chilling. They're all high on legal weed over there, by the way. I'm like, you know, what do you expect? What's well, that? Kind of the same thing in Arizona, I guess. But for some reason, they're a little more responsive. You know, Andy's not high on the legal weed, right, Todd? I don't know, man. He spelled business wrong on his card that he sent. <laughs> I gotta move the camera out of the way. That was his wife's handwriting, by the way, Jordan. Was it? I've, <laughs> I've personally confirmed that information. Nice. Yeah, business was spelled <laughs> wrong. I, my girlfriend was like... I literally oh. called him, and I was like, Andy, did your wife decide to send out these postcards? Because that handwriting doesn't look like a modeler's. And he's like, it totally was my wife's idea. And she wrote them, and then we photocopied them. And I was just like, okay. And I didn't even know his business was spelt wrong. I was just like, that was your wife's idea? <laughs> so I'm like, no man is that thoughtful, period. Right, Todd? No. I hope not. No, no man will be like that thoughtful. Like, you know, my best, one of my best friend's mothers passed away. And instantly my wife's like, uh, can you confirm his address so we can send flowers and a card or some food? Uh, and I got his address confirmed from some of my other friends. And then tonight I told her, I was like, you know, you know, Hilda passed away. And she's like, what? Why did this happen? I was like, I don't know, honey, like, Two and a half weeks ago when I told you the first time and you asked for his address so he could send something? And she's like, no, you didn't. I was like, yeah, I really did. You had a rough day with your LASIK, babe. You've forgotten a lot of shit. You had two volumes <laughs> and a Xanax and took a too short of a nap. You're, 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 no, you're not all there, babe. It took a lot to put her down today, too. After the laser eye surgery. It really yeah. sounds like you're talking about dog. It was that. fun. It took I, a lot I, to get her. put her down, you know. I mean, you know, when you're tr when you're trying to trank your wife asleep and not doing anything afterwards, like I just wanted her out cold. I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted her to leave me alone and sleep. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, you took a Xanax, you took a you took a Valium right before the laser eye surgery, and then on the drive home, you took one right before we got to McDonald's. Ate your sausage McMuffin, and you still can't fall asleep. Here's a Xanax. Okay. Finally, she fell asleep. Good Lord. Yeah. Meanwhile, I had the same procedure almost exactly a year ago, and I didn't take any Valium until after the procedure, and I took one, came when I got home, laid down in bed. I was out for six hours. Good Lord. And like my, my liver must look like a a, a piece of like a overly smelted lead. <laughs> that volume is boom. You're down. Two hundred and fifty pounds. We don't care. Boom. Sleepy time. I hope to God they just listed this thing is sold out because they just wanted to get the photos up. When is it supposed to go on sale? I don't know. I emailed them. And I'm just like, I was like, I refresh your website three times a day just so I could buy my friend this gift. And I was also waiting for this item to come out. 
And the second I see it for the first time, it's sold out. I think I'm hoping this is what happened, is they listed it as sold out just to get the listing up, and then they're going to mark it in stock in a day or two. I can't go to work Monday. I'm calling it sick. Me too. <laughs> Shit, that was me today. Sono Aravati? What the hell is that? Oh, they picked the wrong graphic for that. <clears throat> Man, I wanna... Oh, it looks so good. Damn, I'm, oh, geez. I should probably wash this down a little bit. Get rid of this extra goop on here. There we go. Okay. It's my cleaner. Maybe this might be the last thing I paint in my cardboard box. Holy crap. Ooh. No. I'm excited about that. Your cardboard box. That's what it is. It's the last thing I spray in my box. Oh. It just sounds weird, man. <clears throat> wow. I just realized I stuck my rear view mirror on backwards. Why don't you huh. guys say something? Oh, no. <laughs> I was, you're just... You're asking, you're asking for it, but I got nothing. In the wrong. I got nothing. Okay, listen, I have got to buy something on the stream, so I'm gonna get this eleven dollar set of Makita drill bits because they have hex chucks on them that'll fit in my uh, my little uh, power drill thing. They're just for the workbench. Sold eleven dollars Makita drill bits. Oh my god, that thing's how much now? $400? Gotta be smoking crack. Perfect grading? No, Haya Toys uh, 118th scale uh, Aliens APC. Oh my god. I have one. It's just like they're, they're sold out and discontinued. And now they're going for like double the price. But that's how it works. Jesus. Yeah. I was thinking of repainting mine, but now I'm like, should I just sell Yeah, when it? the fan home thing for the DeLorean came today, I'm like, huh. Oh, that DeLorean is sweet, yeah, you though, should. man. I mean, it's I it's really I know, nice. I know. You want me to bring it over here? You don't want to do that, Todd, because that's going to be a poor financial decision for Jordan. Yeah, it doesn't. it's not helpful for him. That's true. No, it's... No. it's no, it's it's going to be detrimental to his uh, long term finances. Yeah, <clears throat> but really, honestly, Jordan, it it is a moral imperative. You, I know. Well, it's on the list. It's definitely like I. If okay, when I got Kit, I went looking for the DeLorean first, and uh, the DeLorean still was not going yet, and so I'm like, I'm just going to go with Kit. So. See, yeah. I yeah, I'd take the Lorian over Kid any day, and I love Knight Rider. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I'll probably like if it's done now, it'll probably be back around. It, like if it's not a, like who knows what my financial situation will be here, but like you know, like I really yeah. was thinking like if I were to do another parts work, it would be it, probably an Agora, and it would probably be the little Ferrari. If I'm being real. Oh, not the two fifty GTO. Uh, the La Ferrari is like one of my favorite. Uh, the 250 GTO, it would be the, either the La Ferrari or the Mira if I was being real. Oh, don't the only me. one I don't do the Mira, don't do the Mira. Uh, the Mira is a little bit of this, trouble, it, the, it, it has some body at, fitment issues at the end. It, I had to uh, bend yeah. it and tweak it and bend it and tweak it. And it's, it's, and I, it's not, it's not Agora's fault, it's a hashet metal model. But, yeah, yeah, Agora uh, didn't design it. No, it's 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 just it's painful. It is very painful at the end. 
so far, <clears throat> I will say, throat clearing aside, with the Agora designed and engineered models, mm -hmm. absolutely amazing. That G1 Optimus is by far the best fitting, easiest to... It's so easy to assemble, it's almost boring sometimes. It fits together like they hijacked some engineers from Bandai. <laughs> that Agora G1 goes together so good. And the DB5, I have high hopes and expectations. So mm. far, so good with the chassis and suspension I've done. I'm going to do pack four tomorrow. Um, holy crap. The Zero Fighter is not their design. It's still pretty good. Like, it's it's a really good model. Um, but yeah, the, the Mira, I saw some issues. Well, it's good to know. I mean, like, that's the sort of thing. Like, I would just go into it based on, like, want. But, you know, for something like that, you if you're going to be building, like, you want it to go right. So, I mean, the DeLorean is definitely on the list. I mean, it, it's the thing that uh, got me looking at Fan Home in the first place, so. Yeah. Um, it just wasn't available at the time. You know, I sat in a Ferrari Enzo once. But I don't know if I'd build the model. I mean, it was a cool car, but like, I really wish they re release like the Testarossa or the F40. Oh, the F40 would be super cool. Um, I heard that that part work is not fun. No, you know, I heard it wasn't a great model to build. Well, it's not. It's not the model's fault. It's the instructions. Yeah, I heard the instructions were just they were really brutal. But like a Testarossa, oh baby. God forbid a white Testarossa. Oh. Ooh, white Testarossa. That would be a model. That would be a model of all time. See, I would do the Testarossa. I would do the white one, just for Miami Vice. Yeah, exactly. Like, I would totally do a white Miami Vice Testarossa. Did they do a Testarossa part work? Uh, yes. Was it white? No. You know, Agora would do a custom white one and limit it to like 150. <laughs> yeah, like they'd have the red one and then they would have a white one and say only 150. Just like the 250 GTO in the blue. And that would... That would get Americans goats. Like, I think America would buy a Testarossa. Maybe. Nice. Actually, sat in a celebrity's uh, Enzo while I was getting the brakes done on my Ford F-150 Lightning at a Ferrari <laughs> shop after nice. hours. Yeah, I was having uh, stainless braided lines installed by a buddy of mine. And he was a Ferrari master mechanic. And he said, just bring it over to the shop. I'll put it on the lift. We'll do your braided brake lines. And I, I drove it over there. It was in uh, Westchester County, New York. And I, I drove it over there. I'm like, hey, buddy. He's like, yeah, pull it in here. I'm like, does this shop have ceramic tile floors? And he's like, it's a Ferrari shop, man. I was like, okay. He puts my truck up on the lift. He's doing my brake lines. He's bleeding them. I was like, is that an Enzo? And he goes, yeah, that's Bono's Enzo. I'm like, you too, Bono? Bono? And he's like, yeah. And I'm like, can I touch it? And he's like, you can sit in it. I don't give a fuck. He was <laughs> like, I don't care. He's like, just don't pee or or any other bodily fluids. Nothing. Don't lick anything. I was like, okay, fair enough. I sat and I'm like, I don't fit. And he's like, no one fits in that damn thing. Bono doesn't fit in that thing. His assistant dropped it off. His assistant's five foot seven, weighs one hundred and twelve pounds, soaking wet. I was like, oh, okay, God. yeah. Like Todd has to build these model Ferraris because he can't fit in one in real life. Oh God, no. No, my cousin had a uh, Ferrari five twelve M, which was kind of like a later Testarossa, where they didn't call them Testarossas. Um. And uh, he was giving me a ride in it on Long Island Expressway, and it broke down. It stalled out, and it wouldn't restart. And he had to call the dealership, and they sent out this little old Italian man. 
And the guy pulls out a tool bag made out of, like, canvas. And he takes on, like, a brass ball peen hammer and just whacks one spot in the motor and says, go try. And boom, starts right up. Oh my, my cousin God. goes, what's wrong? What's wrong, man? What do I need? He's like, well, you either need a new starter or you need a brass hammer. <laughs> and my cousin's like, I'll make an appointment. He goes, for the hammer or the starter? He goes, for the starter. He's like, oh, good idea. Like, it was literally this little old Italian man that showed up on the side of the highway in, like, a little Toyota Tacoma <laughs> with, like, a canvas tool bag to, like, get us started on the highway. My cousin's best car he ever had, and that I actually got to drive because I was old enough at the time, was an Acura NSX. Ooh. And my cousin goes, have you ever driven a manual? Do you know how to drive a manual? And I said, I have no clue. I've never touched a manual transmission. And he goes, you could drive the Acura. And I'm like, what? I'll grind gears. He's like, no, it's impossible. And I was like, yeah. I promise you I will destroy your transmission. He goes, just drive it. And I swear to God, I did not know what I was doing. For some reason, I could shift gears in an Acura NSX. Like, the transmission was just like, yeah, I'll just go into that gear. No grinding. No drama. Clutch pedal? Eh. If you look at it, I'll go into gear. It's fine. I got up to, like, I don't know, 35 miles an hour, and he was like, okay, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, not too much fun. I was like, but it's less than 300 horsepower. He said, that's what Japan says. Yeah, no, they, they have to say that. That's the handshake deal of 276 horsepower, right, Todd? That's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, an R34 GTR, yeah, 276 horsepower. That's all. That's no all. Worries. That. Yep, yep. No more. Exactly 276 WRX STI Type R, Civic, whatever, crazy thing, Lancer Evo, whatever. Yeah, 276 horsepower. Exactly. Every yeah. time. Every time. No lie, dude. No cap. The GTR is probably the biggest liar of 276 horsepower. Oh, yeah. I'm pretty sure the GTR holds the crown of you are absolutely the most full of shit car company for saying the GTR is only 276 horsepower. Like Subaru, probably not lying. Le uh, Mitsubishi with the Evo, probably lying. Yeah. Nissan with the GTR, dude, your nose is seven feet long right now. Yeah. This thing dynoed at four fifty to the wheels, you know, or whatever it was, right, Todd? I forget. Oh, I don't know. It was a lot. It was a lot. It was way more than two seventy six. And that block was good for 12, 1,500 horsepower. Yeah, That's yeah. Insane. And like, oh, well, if you put a chip in it. Do you remember, what was it? The Was it the Dodge Neon? Oh, the Neon like SRT4? A, yeah, and it had a block that was good for six, 700 horse or something stupid. It, I mean, yeah, but it had, was like two and a quarter. Yeah, but it had a transmission that was good for like 300 horsepower exactly. At 301 horsepower, everything exploded. Jesus. It was kind of like the, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, uh, what was that Mitsubishi? The uh, Eclipse GSX. And the and the GT, uh, oh, my, my cousin had a GT3000 VR4. But like, oh, if uh, you put... 3000 GT? Yeah, 3000 oh, GT VR4 and the Eclipse GSX. If you put literally like one too many horsepower in those vehicles, the transmission just was like popcorn. Mm. Todd, what's that? Uh, this is the roof panel. Headliner? The, the, yeah, no, the roof, out, exterior oh. roof panel. Okay. Um, oh. But what what they did with the doors is very interesting because they used a screw on this little tiny hinge. It was already pre-made. This is the piece that I broke off. Yeah. Uh, and it just sits in a slot in here, and then this basically just holds it down. And the screws that come up from underneath actually start to go through the plastic. I don't know if you can see the little dent. 
Uh, right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, vaguely. Uh -huh. Yeah, I see a yeah. little divot. Like the, the, the screws are almost a little too long, and they're not able, and they, the way they pull down is not, it's just not hard enough. Um, you need like a countersink flathead screw. Well, they, need, they just need to be the shorter screw. Oh. Uh, but not, not only that, um, this really should be glued down. And I'm really seriously thinking about gluing it. Why don't you do that uh, really thin, clear 3M double-sided tape? No. Yeah, like Mike Lane not, and not Corey not. and... I want, I want these to stay down. Chloe and model mods and scaled mods and... I want it to stay down. I'm going to glue it down. And I'll come back what, with the screws. What kind of glue? Super glue. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you need to clearance anything to not have divots? Uh, no, it's just the screws, I think, are just slightly too long. And you really have to wrench on them because you're trying to get the, the roof to fit flat. You're trying to get it to sit flush to the doors. Oh, you're a roof are, guy. The doors are part of the roof, so I'm just, I just want it to look right. So we'll get a little bit of glue. See, Jordan, this is what modeling does. It brings people together where one guy says roof and the other guy <laughs> says roof. That's right. Um, sorry? You said roof. Yeah. Roof. Yeah, the roof. Roof. Yeah, the roof. You said roof. I say roof. And you don't say tomato. No. Not unless you're like messing with me. What are you doing with the lighter? Turning off the super glue off my tip, and it's gone. Just like there that. you go. You're watching, Jordan. And now the tip is nice and clean. Absorb. Let's say get rid of the super glue nice. on the tip of your. That's little... how you get rid of the glue of my little wire. Yeah. Just light it. It'll burn it right off. Nice. It's all gone. All right. I was curious about that, actually. Got a nice little buildup of grime here. Oh, yeah, man. I'm doing pretty good. Are you, you getting better? See, like, haven't touched this. Well, I'm just letting it dry. I want to see what it looks like because they say you can keep manipulating your weathering, you know, for up to 24 hours. So I'm trying to just like let it sit and like versus the clean side. It's not that it's not dramatic, but it's noticeable. There we go. This is a good view. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can definitely tell. You sure you got enough in that big, long drag you just took? I heard it. Huh. Yes. This is a difficult model to weather in one go. The Falcon is a nice big flat pancake to work on. Everything's in the same direction. This ship, everything's going in different directions because it's got vertical, horizontals, Angles. I had a little blob there. I don't like that. Well, how many layers are you in, Jordan? What's that? How many layers in are you? Uh, this is actually the uh, oh! cup. No! What do they do? What the heck is oh, that? I, is I accidentally dropped a paintbrush into my spaceship starship grime oh no no God. no not the grime it's a blast mark now oh no 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 it's gone 
Nice. Yeah, this is there the uh, light gray base coat, final coat. So you have to go backwards, right? Yeah. Does the dash that? Yeah, so, yeah, so basically you start with the uh, primer and then you uh, do your dark colors. and You start dark and then go to light and layer each time through. And so I'm going to probably put uh, two coats on this one and then uh, do my clear for uh, decals. I wonder if we're going to get some Aztecs for uh, the Falcon we do in the, paint, the airbrush class. Mm. I doubt it. Did Aztec Dummy come out with Aztecs for it? No idea. Oh, you know, he might have, actually. Lou might have released something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, it looks good. The, the more you play with it and just like hit it with thinner. Stupid. Like it's a little too much going on here. Not struggled to get Tamiya going this. Like this struggle. I'm struggling to get this one going. What, Tamiya paint? Yeah, like I can't thin it down enough to get it on my brush. It's weird. Hey, did you fill the jar up? Yeah. What color? Light gray. That shouldn't need too much thinning. No, it's, I'm trying to go very light because I went too much on the first time and now it's like I just I can't get it to go. Uh, it's just the airbrush. Sometimes I get Possibly. Yeah, this is this airbrush on. Yeah, it, it's exactly it. I mm. need a little bit. That doesn't help. No. Do I need to emergency ship you an airbrush and compressor? <laughs> no. I think we should be good. God. I mean, I thought you could hold out till June, but if you can't, we could just ship it. Uh, I may I may take you up on it. I'll let you know because right now, like I cannot get this. Well, I'm going to the UPS store tomorrow to send something to Canada that I three printed. Okay. This really looks just dirty. It does. It looks perfect, actually. Isn't that what it's, you wanted? Yeah, I like it. It just looks. It just looks nasty. There's no specific streaking. It just looks shitty. <clears throat> this thing looks like <clears throat> if uh, if this ship made it out of Empire Strikes Back. Like, mm -hmm. well, no, that was uh, Return of the Jedi. Sorry. But still. Like, uh, you know, 20 years after Return of the Jedi, just this thing is still going. And this is what it looks like. That is impressively grimy looking. But nothing specific. It's got some Ewok shit on the side of it. Yeah. This thing's been, like, parked on Endor for a decade. Yeah. <laughs> some parties have been had. Sudden, you remembered how to work. Oh, how nice for you! Shit. Crisis averted, I assume. Uh, yeah, kind of like. <laughs> God, this thing. Once I finally get it going, it goes. But <coughs> story of my life. 
That's right. There we go. Definitely feels weird reverse masking though, for that's for sure. It's still not sold out. Oh. Sell out. Sell out, damn it. The other one I don't want to be sold out, sold out. But the one I want to sell out is not selling out. Why do you want it to sell out? <laughs> So you can't accidentally order one yourself. I don't think you need to worry about that. Okay. <laughs> Actually, do. You're a psycho. Sometimes. Yes. Ooh, last Ecto One video is not doing good. Ranking by views, nine out of ten. Jeez, Todd, you got enough spare screws there? Nope. Jesus. The Ecto One like, comes with seventy. How many screws do you 70, have? The Ecto One comes with seventy-two different kinds of screws. You need two of these. Oh my God. Seventy-two. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. How many are in my thing? Hold on a second. Uh, I saw one of Wayne's videos. He was doing the uh, the Tumblr, and like it, it was in the like the AAMs and the AAD. You know, basically like double double letters. Let's see here. Twenty eight. The, the deepest M screw I have is ABM so far. Oh my a -B god! What? ABM. Alpha Here's where I'm at. Yeah, I'm up to trouble. QM and QP. Yeah, you're way in trouble. My QM stopped here. These oh, are all no. the screws after it. Oh lord! Wow. Here's all, my, this is O. This is my plastic screw. OP. It stopped here. These are all the P's after it. Oh my god! The P goes through at least YP. Oh what? Yeah. So. Todd, in your opinion, having built as many part works as you've done, does the Ecto one have the most different screw types of any part work ever? Yes. There we go. No I doubt. Like Todd's answers. No doubt about it. He's just well, like, I have I have yes. a list of all, all the different kinds of screws on my website. It's just yes. Yes. The most screws ever. Oh, Jordan. Oh Todd, should I do this to Jordan? No. What are you doing? Um Omni fixing him. Oh, God. If he's going to solder, he needs yeah. to let me fix it, though. Yeah. Uh, Jordan, if you're going to solder, you need a proper Good set night, of Gary. helping hands. Good night, oh, Gary. Yeah. yeah, these are magnetic helping hands on a little metal plate with vertically... With gimbals. Oh. Yeah. With, and they can go anywhere. And... Dude. And... If you take the rubber tips off these and you flip their bases over, they become conductive and you can clip your lead onto the plate as a what? negative and then touch your positive <laughs> to Dude. one of these and make this the positive lead. It's a life changer. I, yeah, I don't this, thought about it now. God. It's, it's insane. Like, if you're not subscribed to Adam Savage's uh, tested channel, like I already am. Yeah, I don't. But yeah, the, video. it's not. It's not cheap. That thing he's holding sixty dollars. But yeah, this Ooh. thing is absolutely a life changer for soldering little bits together. Oh, or holding two wires. Yeah, holding, holding two, two wires, two wires two or an entire circuit board. It lines everything up perfectly because you can just nudge everything in three hundred sixty degrees on these. Pins. Oh yeah, oh. yeah. It's absolutely like. The most incremental little movements and like angles, you could tilt things sideways to hold them. Yeah, like, I think I threw my help my cheap ass metal helping hands. I think I threw them away. Yeah, no, I got. 
Oh, hey. Threw mine away. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Speaking of which, yeah, I do. I do still have mine. Hold on. Uh, uh, let me unplug my paint mixer. Uh, oh, there's a micro SD card. Where's that from? Uh, probably my GoPro. Uh, we'll just put you over here. Oh. oh. Okay. Paint. Uh, get you out of there. Yeah, like, like Jordan, like something like this. Yeah, I have one of those. The octopus. Yeah. Yeah, like this. It's it's okay. It's it's I I built I built this uh, this thing uh, with that. this board. Uh, this is the belt gizmo from Ghostbusters. This yeah. is what they wore on their utility belts, and all of these components are soldered on. Wow. Including the functional electronics. Cool. My belt gizmo uh, last year, the old version with the green board, actually placed at Wonderfest. Because um, it's a beautiful kit. Uh, but yeah, I built I built the new one with this thing. If you want this thing, I'll bring it with the air compressor. If you cool. feel like blowing 60 bucks and change on an Omni Fixo... You will then throw this thing in the trash or give it away to somebody from Seattle. Right. It's it's yeah. not terrible. It's not bad. It's just this thing is a whole nother level. It just makes me laugh how much money you can freaking spend on this crap. Man. Oh, God. You've not been it's doing it. Can... We don't laugh anymore. We just nod and go, yeah, sounds about right. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just put my... Uh, my old helping hands up here with the air compressor tank. <clears throat> I'll just put that in the Wonderfest pile. Thank you, sir. The Wonderfest giveaway pile is growing for Jordan. He's got a Madworks airbrush, hose, compressor, and now a set of helping hands. And my workbench is now a little cleaner. Ah, are, perfect. You are, you are you flying, Jordan? I am, yeah. How are you going to get all this shit home? Are you going to get shit shipped to you? They have a UPS uh, store on site at Wonderfest. They nice. do. Um, I've thought about that, and then I've also thought about just checking a um, an extra, just full size without anything in it. Yeah, check a bag. Thirty five bucks, yeah. you're good. Yep. Up to fifty pounds, you're fine. Yep. I imagine that I'll probably spend way too much money there too. So. You know, it's surprising. I thought I would be like dropping a grand at the vendor room but if you're not into figures figures yeah figures figures if you're not figures. into like sci-fi figure things figures? or like resin props mm -hmm. like you'll probably buy like a star trek phaser resin prop kit or something i'm assuming maybe a tricorder yes. but those are small <laughs> and not super heavy they don't take up a lot of space. But, like, if you're not into, like, a lot of sci-fi, not even sci-fi, I'm sorry, like, uh, fantasy horror figures, that's, like, a lot of the vendor room. Okay. That's good There's a lot here. of model kits. There's a lot of model kits. Don't get me wrong. Tons of model kits. Tidarium shuttles, me and Donnie both got these there. Mm. <laughs> like, vintage. Mine was still in the shrink wrap. For a hundred bucks. Wow. Donnie got his out of the shrink wrap, but complete for 75. Um, and honestly on eBay, you could get the same deal all day long. So like, if you really like, you go on eBay and you look and you're like, eh, this isn't the odds of you buying a boxed plastic model kit there are fairly low. Well, that's good to know. I mean, like, that's the thing. I imagine that I'll be, like, just wandering around, probably hanging out with you guys and just doing random stuff. So, I, I plan on, like, I I want to shoot a bunch of things while I'm there. Like, you know, just film as, like, models and maybe... Well, the model stuff. room and the display, yeah. yeah, like, the vendor room and the model room. And there's a third room, which is kind of half display, half vendor. It's usually... There's a, there's a smaller room where it's, like... Um, <clears throat> you know, like, uh, oh, God, what's the Star Trek guy? Oh, why is his name leaving my head right now? Krauss? That made the enter. Yeah. Sternbach? Sternbach? 
Yeah, Sternbach, Bill Krauss, like they have tables where they have artwork and they sign it and sell it. Like that room is like more for that type of thing where it's like the mm -hmm. artist's room and they have that. It's not like vendor vendor where they're just like piles of model kits on a table. Um, how's that circuit board, Todd? Does it look crunchy? No, it's, it's not bad. It's nice. Yeah. It's fine. Yeah. Better than the Enterprise circuit board. It's boards. a new. It's a new circuit board. It says October eighth, twenty twenty three, on it. Oh, so it's revised, uh -huh. maybe. Yeah, it's revision one point one. Ooh, one point one. Oh God, in IT terms, that's not. <laughs> no, it's not. But but it, this first circuit board could have been zero point six. So. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I don't think you'll. Honestly, Jordan, I don't think you'll buy a. Like a metric ass ton of models at Wonderfest. Cool. Yeah. No, I mean, that's the thing. Like, I, I don't need to do stuff like that. It's more like, I, do they sell a lot of like, like tools and things like that there? Well, like Ooh. there's a, a tag team, tag team hobbies is there doing the class on Friday and they have a big Iwata booth. Mm. So like you may end up buying a nice airbrush. Well, not because if they have be getting a bunch of those, though. So, like, that's the deal. Well, yeah, th there's that. I mean, I'm going to give you my MadWorks. Todd's giving you his Neo because, like, I think yeah. he paid for the HPCS from the, you know, uh, school class. But, like, still, you may be like, oh, do I need a 0.5 trigger <laughs> style monster yeah. air gun for primering yeah. a giant Falcon kit? Right. Because, like, if we're only doing two hours once a week on the Perfect Grade Falcons, it'll take a while. I don't think you're even going to be into primer by the time Wonderfest happens. Wow. I don't know. I, I watch some guys build it, and they even put it together pretty fast. Well, it depends, because Todd's not following the instructions, apparently. That's right. <laughs> yes. You are correct. Oh, yo, nice. Yeah. What, what the hell was that? <laughs> that was Uncle Roger. I don't know what that is. It's the Uncle Roger button. I don't know what that Ooh, is. Oh, yo. <clears throat> I don't know what's he going hates, on. He hates Jamie Oliver. <laughs> Jordan's in the restaurant industry. He knows exactly what's happening there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Uncle Roger hates Jamie Oliver fried rice. Oh no. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel Ray, why are you so crazy? Why are you so crazy? See, this is Steve got mad at me, but I was actually just impersonating Uncle Roger. I wasn't like making fun of Chinese people. It was pretty funny. Because in my Ghostbusters video, I, I called out Yan Ken Cook, so can you? Because, like, if I can build this, so can you. Right. I got a lot of really positive comments about Yan Ken Cook. Because Master Yan was an amazing cook with a really good show. But, yeah, Jamie Oliver should not cook Asian food. No. And that British guy just needs to back away from the walk. What the hell is that? I, every time I think of J Jamie Oliver, I think about the episode of South Park where... Uh, Randy becomes obsessed with cooking. Oh God, and that's worse than the like the Winona Ryder and the and the ping pong balls. Oh yeah, yeah. like that's literally a Jamie Oliver Asian cooking video. Yeah. Do <laughs> oh, not go into oh, detail shit. details on? Uh oh, uh oh. Wait, Never mind. Never mind. Never just mind. Shh, be quiet, Jordan. <laughs> We just go silent when Todd gets angry. The bracket that came with 56. What the hell are you talking about? Upper cover what? panel, it came with 56. Where's that? Yeah. And when Todd gets upset, uh, we've learned to just go quiet. Even though he's like, you know, a thousand miles away and can't possibly harm us. Uh, it's probably in the bag, Mark 56, in my storage. It, for, it, uh, nice. We... And Todd doesn't have a temple. He's a very nice guy, but... For some reason, when Todd gets upset on a live stream, I, I just, something weird inside of me just gets very frightened. <laughs> I 
Like, we're worried the world will end. Legitimately. Oh, hey, smash. What do you think, Todd? What? Am I being overly dramatic? Uh, it depends. I mean, I usually yeah, have, see? I have, I have a high level of patience. So it's, 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 the thing is, is when sometimes you just have one of those days where you're just like, you know what? My life sucks and I don't want to be here right now and I'm not happy. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is it. So Jordan, so Todd has warned you now he has a very high level of patience, but when he snaps, it is like a glass rod. <laughs> it doesn't bend until it breaks. Like it's, uh, very similar to me. Maximum patience, and then all of a sudden, zero warning, nuclear explosion. <laughs> me, I'm like constantly frustrated because I'm so stupid. <laughs> it's apparent that I'm getting more and more angry slowly over the course of time. Todd's just like, "Oh, this is all great, everything." Ah! Boom. <laughs> Nuclear mushroom cloud. <laughs> it's one of Todd's biggest flaws and one of my favorite features. <laughs> it's, it, yeah, it's not a bug. It's a feature. Sometimes I just like to watch him building live streams for things to go wrong. And he never <laughs> reacts. He's just like, oh, God, all right, whatever. Okay, okay, that's okay now. And then one out of a hundred times, it just, it just goes I'm sideways. It's the only thing that makes me feel good about myself because I'm such a fuck up. <laughs> I'm like the world's biggest screw up. And I'm just like, once in a while when someone else does something, but it doesn't happen often. I'm usually the one that makes the major screw up <laughs> like i could literally just take a bottle of crazy glue right now and shove it between my fingers and squeeze <sighs> Are you and seeing... nobody would be surprised and when i use a ca with a kicker for the first time i was like dude do not do oh kicker not. is bad kicker is so nasty do not, <laughs> do not screw this up so kicker, um, yeah, kicker's a love hate relationship. Um, this one, this one just puts kicker everywhere. The aerosol. Yeah. yeah. And this is fine, but this can mess up your paint finish. Oh, if it's yeah. not, if it's not sealed, if it's not clear coated, this can really uh, wreak havoc on things. So then you get you know, the regular liquid kicker and you don't have to spray it. You can drip it. Yeah. And I used little, uh, insulin syringes to drip yep. kicker in and that's fine. Um, but it, n no matter what you do with kicker, it's nasty and it stinks and I hate it. Yeah. But it works. Yeah. And so does this beautiful Omni Fixo set of helping hands <laughs> for only $60 plus shipping and handling available. There we go. Sponsored link in the comments. I'm kidding. There's not. They haven't sponsored anybody except Adam Savage. Because <laughs> he's Adam freaking Savage. You know, he probably ordered his and paid for it. I don't think OmniFixo gives a damn about anybody. They're just like, this thing is so cool. We don't need to send one for free to anybody. Do you know, I asked, <laughs> I talked to Titan. I was talking to Titan the other day. Um, Titan Ross. Yeah. And I asked him if Norman and remember Norman said he was going to go up to his room and order one right away. Yeah. For the Johnny five. No, that was Morgan. What? I thought that was Morgan's model. He was going to order. Right oh, yes, away. yes, yes, yes. Well, I was talking to Morgan and I asked Morgan, I said, did they ever order? And he's like, nope. What? Yeah. Norm lied. Yeah. For the interview. <laughs> oh, Norm probably went like, oh, can I find a 3D STL file somewhere and just print it myself on Adam's expensive printer farm? Yeah. Is that what happened? That's what he said. 
I'm st oh, wow. Because like a lot of other people saw the video of Johnny Five and ordered from Morgan, but yes, Norm did. didn't. Yeah. Well, at least Morgan got a lot of other orders, but that's bullshit. I was a little surprised by it, I have to admit. You know, and the funny thing is, like, I messaged uh, Sean Charlesworth and Norm on Facebook, who've not replied and completely ignored it. And I don't blame them. You know, they, they, they probably get messages from more than a thousand weirdos a day like me. But I was mm -hmm. like, uh, we're going to have all of the Johnny Fives this year at Wonderfest. And I, I had the keywords Johnny Five Wonderfest. I said we're gonna have Punk Johnny Five from Short Circuit Two. We're gonna have Gold Johnny Five from Short Circuit Two. We're gonna have all the originals. We're gonna have a giant one third scale Johnny Five. It is gonna be a Johnny Five orgy <laughs> at Wonderfest. And the toy version. And I'm like, we're gonna have all these Johnny Fives. Not a single reply from any of them. So I'm like, well, whatever, your loss. But, damn, you I can't believe that. Did did uh, you know? Was it worth going for them? Yes. I mean, they got a good amount of views out of it. I think. That's what I'm asking. You know, like, was, oh, there, my... enough, was there enough views for the the, the stream or the, the videos they made? I think my crazy glue bond died on my utility thing for Punk Johnny Five. He lost his uh, utility blob. Yeah, you know the the crazy glue to uh, painted 3D resin bond is less than ideal. Yeah. <laughs> well, I went to go pop the head off the one in the living room today and put the. the I found the. Uh, the toilet seat, so I went to put it on his head, and they were the resin disconnected from the magnet. So, yeah, yeah, I just had that happen here. I went to go get my punk Johnny Five to just kind of show him off a little because he's so amazing. Look at that, that is super cool, man. God. And uh, yeah, his little utility module has uh, debonded, the magnets are stuck together really well. My God. I guess I am using the crazy glue this stream. <clears throat> Let me get a little tiny flathead screwdriver. Yeah, I think, uh, I think Titan and uh, Morgan need to figure out a better way to fix these magnets to these Johnny Fives. Well, they probably need to use like 7,000 or something. <laughs> Maybe B7,000 would work? Yeah. They need, a, they need a, a better glue than that. Not two part epoxy? Oh, I don't think you would go that far. Well, I have two part epoxy. I mean, I could just do a drip of each and I mean, epoxy could. them. Is that what would you're would that be? Do you think that would be better than B seven thousand? Um, it could be. I just don't. I don't know. Epoxy likes to stick to itself, but not so much to other things. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Well, where's my B seven thousand? Where's my gravity magic rubber when I need it? Uh, I needs it. I needs my gravity magic rubber. Where did you go? I'm looking around. Hold on. Processing. Processing. Enhance. Enhance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's only that's only when I go to the proctologist or the <laughs> urologist. <laughs> like, hold on, we gotta get the camera out. You sh male, right? Male, you sure? Yes, male? yes, sure? yes, doctor. <laughs> male. I, yeah. 
Okay. Well, okay. It's an oh, there you it. The gravity magic rubber. Okay, Todd, I will t try the gravity magic rubber first. Okay. And I will put this magnet into place and I will leave it overnight. A dab of gravity magic rubber. Uh, Jordan, you own some of this? Nope. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Read it and weep. Gravity magic rubber, huh? Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll read the rest of the words. <laughs> Stimulate the taste-free anti-vibration. A hint of scent. Paintable. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. It is a surprise adhesive force. This was a great adhesive. Best-selling Europe and America. Mad fans around the world. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. B7000 is some good shit, man. Doesn't get much better. <laughs> Todd says B7000 will be better than two part epoxy, so I'm going to go with it. Come on, don't listen to me. I don't know shit. Ah, well, we'll try it first. Okay. Worst case scenario, I scrape it off and go with the two part epoxy. <laughs> but yeah, I got to kind of put my little. His little utility bits. So he's got this little fold out. This is a little fold out thing, see? Oh, cool. And then it folds out, and then this folds back in. And it's a little battle scarred because this is uh, Punk Johnny 5 from Short Circuit 2. Yeah. Look at the little scars. Yeah, that's super cool, man. Yeah, he's, and then uh, if we, there we go. Uh. Highlights up. Oh, dude, hell yeah. I am really pissed off. <laughs> Speaking of lights up, should I pick up uh, an Arduino for the uh, Razor Crest? Why not? Don't ask me. I can write you fast code, whatever you need. Sweet. All right, that answers that. Because I want the engines to pulse a little bit, and uh, I know that'd be a pretty cool effect. Yeah, this, they're using crazy glue. It just doesn't stick to the resin stuff. It's like, look at them, but don't breathe on them. They're not meant to be toys, but still, I'm like, eh, you know, it'd be nice if they're a tiny bit more adorable. Look, but don't <laughs> touch. Touch, but don't smell. Oh. Smell, but don't taste. <laughs> Smell, but don't taste. That's what she said. <laughs> My mama told me. <laughs> Name the movie. <laughs> Forrest Who are you Gump. carrying all these bricks for? <laughs> well, was that Short Circuit 2? Yeah, that was no. Short Circuit 2. No. What? Who are you call carrying all these bricks for? Yeah. Who are you carrying all those bricks for? I have no idea. Uh, no idea. Double kid. Come on, watch the movie. Oh. Dude. Hmm. We got put in our place. Yeah. Yeah. Bigger that nerd. Was, uh, Charlie's there and super hot. Super hot. Super naked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like full frontal. Just yeah. drops that drops that blanket it, in the church and what, what which movie was this? Oh, now you're Little interested. Blanket. I see how it is. 
I'm just wondering. I'm like, I uh, thought you were talking about like, the one Will Smith this. where he was a superhero. Oh. No. <laughs> Devil's Advocate. Al Pacino, Keanu Reeves. Oh, oh that one. I've seen that movie. I for, I didn't even remember that she was in that. I'll be honest. Yeah. I forgot about her. That's it. She was, yeah. Yeah, that's a good point. Please don't be. Oh, you're still sold out. <laughs> and you're not? Oh, I hate you. Ugh. Oh, if I want to keep using these oil paints tomorrow, they'll still be usable. Nice. It's like ridiculous. I'm like. Ooh. Ooh. That was uh that was throaty. How significant. Yeah, that had some uh some some tonal resonance to it. <laughs> well you know me, I'm tonal. Yeah, really. Alright, I gotta move the camera out of the way. Sorry. Oh, Yeah, one sec. Okay. All right. All right. Step five complete. Step six retrieve the two uprights. Stage forty two. Forty two. Oh, God. That feels like a hundred stages ago. Are they in here? No. I don't see them in here. Okay. They appear somewhere. Oh, they're probably in the bag marked 42. He's the same. Absolutely not. I have a tankless <laughs> hot water heater from 2008, designed in France, built in Japan, that still works. Nice. It's so weird. It's a French brand, and it says made in Japan. Huh. Fabrique au Japon. And they spell Japan J A P O N. They spell it like they say it. It's pretty interesting, the French. My wife, she was just Claire. there. I'm like, I should have been like, honey, you know, after you go to the Louis Vuitton store, go get us a fresh hot water heater. <laughs> She'd be like, they don't sell them here. They're made in Japan. I'm like, ah, crap. We have to go to Tokyo now. <laughs> get me another hot water heater that lasts longer than 10 years. It's more miracle. <laughs> oh, we're officially on our last metal light. I'm about to go upstairs. <laughs> it's the last beer of the night before I start mixing drinks, and then things oh, go south quick. <laughs> start crying. Um, it gets weird. No, oh. I, I never, I never oh, cried. God. This it is a perfect gets... opera, perfect stopping place too because Yeah, really. The next the next stage is installing the door motors. Oh no, oh, we don't want to do God. that at, at we no. No, not at this time of night, Todd. No. You know, Tony was like, honey, you're gonna come to bed at a reasonable hour tonight? I'm like, uh, maybe. I'm not sure. Like, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> she texted me now, be like, Well, Todd's still on here and Jordan's on here. She's like, Who's Jordan? I'm like, he's worse than Todd. <laughs> even worse than me as a feeder as a feeder as an enabler you know what I mean so true it's so true 
Such a dangerous combination you've created, Todd. Todd's just <laughs> over there with like glasses of nitroglycerin and hydrochloride. Like, we make a rocket. It will it will hit the UK. <laughs> England is destroyed. <laughs> Todd's just like Russia. Todd's just like well. Too. A little liquid oxygen and some hydroxine. No problem. We're good. Yep. We've just made the V2 rocket of inappropriateness for a live stream. It's it's no problem. We're good. I just got It'll lucky. Be fine. This We're not monetized. It's okay. Just landed into my lap right next to the mommy and daddy maker. Oh. What is it? Yeah. It's bigger than his mommy video. daddy maker. Yeah. I hope. What is yeah. that? A, what is that? An airbrush nozzle reamer? Yeah. Oh, dear God. Yeah. You're already breaking that thing out. Oh, Todd, should we just start mailing him things? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, don't know how much, I don't know how much it'll help. He seems like he's a lost cause already, so... Yeah, really. I mean, him and his... You know, him and his adult toy-powered airbrush. That's right. It looks like you're holding, you know, a pleasure device with an airbrush attached to it. And it sounds like it, too. It even has little gold lines on it, because I think it's for makeup. I love gold! <laughs> Smoking a pancake? Smoking a pancake. I'm a bong a blitz. <laughs> Bong in a blitz. Bong in a waffle. <laughs> a smoke and a pancake. Oh, God. Oh, oh. That movie could never be... You could never make a sequel. No. For no. that series in the a, same style. Do you need a backpack for all your stuff you're going to buy at Wonderfest? Ever again, oh, dude. <laughs> You're. I'm trying to. I'm trying to bring down Jordan's expectations of bankruptcy. Like no, you you're really. This. this came with my Optimus Prime. It's one of the first. Oh. I'm never going. Oh, use there it. you go. Oh my God, that's <laughs> hideous. It's just a basic backpack. Yeah, sure, whatever. <laughs> it's old dumper of garbage. And he can carry the airbrush compressor on. I was that. asking either one of you. You don't have to be a jerk. I'm just asking. I don't want it. <laughs> I love stupid, useless, branded shit, but that thing's even beyond my standards. Like, uh, both actually, I would, both the Falcon and the Enterprise have the coffee cups arriving for these packages. I'm pretty excited about that. That's like one of the few free gifts I'd actually give a shit about because I'm like, oh, at least my wife would use it. <laughs> wife. My wife. Like, yeah. Tony would probably like that. She likes coffee. Oh my god, so it's so hard. When you're with someone for 20 years, it's so hard to buy them presents. Oh yeah. And you have to learn from real life what to get your significant other. And if there's something that your girlfriend is always asking you to do that just like annoys you, there's your idea. So... <laughs> Yeah. My wife is always like, honey, honey, can you throw my coffee in the microwave for 45 seconds? And I'm like, okay, babe. All right. Okay, babe. And I got her the insulated Yeti mug. Mm -hmm. And uh, that didn't work. Like, it still gets cold, and then I can't microwave it because it's in metal. So right. then she's like, can you make me a fresh cup of coffee? And I'm just like, okay, that takes even longer than microwaving. So we go back to the ceramic mug, and I'm just like microwaving it for 45 seconds every 20 minutes for like the first four hours of the day before she finishes the fucking cup. And then I realized that my little oil pump for three in one, Todd, you will never have this problem. Okay. But if it is below 60 degrees or 65 degrees, this thing does not flow oil. Huh. Okay. I ordered a new one because my first one stopped working. And then I ordered three more after this because it wasn't working yesterday. But then I went, I put my heat gun in front of it and I kept rotating it for about two minutes and got the three in one oil warmed up and it pumped perfectly. This does not work below a certain temperature. 
the three and one is too thick to pump out. So I was like, oh, you know what I need for this? Is I need one of those little electric coffee cup warmers. And when I come down, I turn it on, leave this on there for 15 minutes and my oil will pump out. And I went, wait a second, perfect present for my wife for Christmas. So this mm -hmm. Christmas, she is getting an electric coffee mug warmer on both the side table near the couch where she sits, in her office at home where she sits, a third one to take to work, and maybe a fourth one just to keep in the box just for rare occasions where I'm like, oh, I can install one here. So I never have to microwave that fucking cup of coffee for 45 seconds ever again. <laughs> so she always has warm coffee. All right. Not modeling related whatsoever, but Todd, that so uh, LaFerrari is looking good. Yeah, no. yeah it's just, that's, that's through stage 67. The red paint is, ex is like confusing the exposure on your camera. Yeah, yeah. It, it, well, cameras always love to make reds orange for whatever reason. And purple. Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. It's like struggling to keep it red, isn't it? It's like picking up the reflection from the black grid on the work mat, and it looks purple in the paint, and then the top half looks kind of orangey. Yeah, I don't know. It's all over the place. It's awesome, though. Well, it's definitely red. Oh, oh, I, we it's, know it that. It looks orange to me, but... It's around. red. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, that's as far as I got. The doors do work. So you can... <laughs> I'll move Johnny Super out of the way cool. here. And get uh, put him down. Let's see if that Start, now it. are you gonna take are you gonna take the you are you mm -hmm. gonna take uh your stuff off tonight? You don't you're right, you want to pull off the masking while it's still not completely dry. Yeah, no, as soon as uh, we get off here, I'm gonna start filming and uh pull the pull the mask now. Oh, so that can be your see that can be your show. Your show is well, yep. okay. How did it come out? Yep, exactly. Right. It. Was it? Well, was for the, the two people watching, you know, we had a good night. <laughs> we two. Did. Here, let's go. We'll go through. Uh, let's see. We had we had tw ten or eleven people on at one time. Jordan, let's uh, see. Uh, yeah, every time I looked up, it was at least nine. Okay, that looks like you've made your define out of concrete. Yep. So mm -hmm. that's yep. the base. Well, now I just got to pull all the mouse off, and then I was able to. So when you pull the mouse off, it should just have tons of color underneath. Yeah, I'll go ahead and pull one right now, actually, for the sake of. Yes. Put it on the bottom or something pull. so it doesn't look like you ruined it for the camera. Yeah. For your show, your show, you know, you want your show to be good. Yes. Good idea, so, Todd. So let's grab this one right here. This should be a blue. Every time you pull a mask, Lou Dalmaso loses one hair off his head. By the way, I heard a trick for taking masking tape off without scratching the model, since you're using tweezers, yeah. is using a pencil eraser. Wow. Oh. Like a, a pencil, if you have like a regular old pencil, you can use a pencil eraser to push the tape back at the edge and then peel it off with your fingers. Oh my god. I'm gonna do that for. I saw, the I saw somebody. I saw somebody else do that. They were using. Otherwise, if you have like silicone pusher tools, that'll do it too. Like silicone oh, wedge tools. Yeah. Um, you know, I have some of these. I'll show you. Uh, we'll go back to this. Um, One of these this. little things. Like, yep, silicone pusher tools. Yeah. I use, okay. I use these for decals. Um, these are disposable. These, yeah, the same thing. I mean, as long as it's not foam, you want actual silicone. Yeah, but if it's silicone, you should be able to use this to push the edge of the tape back, and then you can peel it oh, off, cool. and you don't have to use your sharp tools. Oh, that's a great tip. Okay, especially because cool. you're going to be doing when you're doing multi layers. Oh my god, you know what I mean? Like multi layers yeah, of paint, yeah. and then you screw it up, and you're like, ah. Yeah, yeah. I'll, we'll we'll send you a link, Jordan. I have the disposable ones on, from Amazon. Oh, look at that! Oh, look at that! What do you think? You're the I you got the it. eye. You're up close. It looks really, really good. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. Super good. Yeah, it's a sh super sharp line. I'm going to go ahead and pull this light gray line right here real fast. It's 
It's kind of hard to tell. Oh, the yeah. Oh, the you can see yeah, it a little a light, bit. Yeah. Yeah. There's a light gray line right there. Do you have, a, do you have something you can take off one of the nacelles? Yeah, I do actually. On the bottom. Go ahead. I'm going to run for your so viewers. Grab. It's like a sneak preview. I like it. All right. So let's see if I can find. Do I have an eraser over here? No, I don't. Trying to be gentle. <laughs> oh, oh my god! Oh yeah! Oh, that looks good. Yes, yes. That turned out super good. Wow! Yes, please. Oh man, I'm very yeah. pleased that with well, the, the Aztec paint job dummy the masks. Model. Yeah, man, well, the, the paint job this model has been so difficult. Yeah, get up close because the camera is going to center what's ever in the middle of the frame. There we go. A little more to the right. Let's just focus on it. I wish it would focus a little bit better. God. Is that like a webcam? It is a webcam, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It. Still, I, we get the idea. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's pretty sharp. Yeah. Super clean and like comparatively to where I was before, I'm super, super happy. Yeah, we would see the bleed. There's no bleed. No, None. Looks good. None whatsoever. It's fantastic. Well, cuz Yeah, Lou uses a really they those those guys who make the good masks use that really thin kind of low tack vinyl. It's like paper yeah. thin vinyl t and I yeah, it's crazy. That's yeah. what it feels like and it just feels like super super high quality. So yeah. that turned out super good. I am man, I can tell you right now I'm super pleased like with how much I've struggled with the paint on this model. I am very very Well, this is like your third try repainting it, I think. Right? It is. It is, yeah. yeah. And this is going to be it. Like I'm super curious to see how this is going to turn out. So this is going to be what 2 weeks from now this one <laughs> will come out. So yeah. Excellent. Okay. How about you, Careful. Ian? Sweet. Well, um, I uh, well, I started with you know, clean titerium, and now I have dirty titerium on this side. It just looks aged. I love it. Yeah, it's like it's like old parchment. Is kind of the effect, right? Like old parchment paper. Yeah. Like Raiders of the Lost Ark, kind of. What was it? Close Encounters of the Third Kind when they found that whole flight from the Bermuda Triangle in the desert. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? Like Flight 59 or whatever it was. Yeah. So, like, a little seep through over here, but, like, this is the clean, the clean side. Nose hasn't been done. And there Are you happy is... with the results? 97 colors of oils. Well, 10. Hey, look. Richard, did you just get back up? You said you were going to bed. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Richard's <laughs> back up. He went to sleep <laughs> at 11.20 p.m. He's back up at 1.49 a.m. What wow. a, <laughs> Eastern Standard Time. Let me just make that clear. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Richard. So, yeah, that's that. Uh, I'm very happy. My first time trying the uh, Abutlung... Abitling, Abit, I can't pronounce it. I'm from the Bronx. We all Abite have speech lung. impediments. A bite lung. Um, I use their thinner, but any odorless spirit would do. I got 10 separate brushes for each color, and I'm very happy with this. Yeah, like, this great. is a great base. I'm curious to see how it'll work for like streaks. and. I'm still going to streak it. Yeah, and I'll yeah. probably take like the Starship Filth. Yeah. And like thin it down a lot and use it like a Tamiya panel liner and like just run it in everywhere and then make it a little thicker and then streak it and drag it and but yeah it's that's uh it's pretty cool. And then it's shiny, it's a little shiny, but I'm gonna go over this with a, a matte dull coat at the end, at the very end. But yeah, that's uh it's pretty dramatic. Like it makes a nice difference. It's kind of a lot of work when you don't know what you're doing, but at the end, I started doing this one with just less dabs of color, and it, it was a lot faster. 
Uh, really quick. I used to never, I used to never nap, Richard, and now I'm old. And I'm almost fifty, and it's time to nap every day. <laughs> oh <laughs> boy. Uh, yeah, I, I can't. I, I worked in Law Ferrari. I can't nap. That that's that's a sick car. The brake rotor on that thing with mm, the CAD yeah. plating and the drilled holes. They really, and the they slots. really, they really should be. They really should be NATO black, though. I mean, they they should be carbon. No, they um, should be carbon. Yes, you're uh, right. And I but... thought about taking this apart, but this caliper is glued together, and I don't want to do that and break it because I was I, I thought I could. I was going to draw paint a line through here and just paint airbrush half of it, and then add the silver back and just airbrush it NATO black. But I, now I'm just don't care. So yeah. <laughs> but I mean, the doors are attached, and we'll they open, you know, and we'll add the motors. Uh, next issue. So this is uh, how I did. What did I do today? I did fifty, I like fifty-seven through sixty-seven. How heavy are those doors? They're they're, they're mostly plastic. <coughs> the only part okay. of this door that's metal is this area right here. Okay. I'm looking forward to seeing you like pressing a button and those doors just opening. Same. Well, that's the part that never works, so we'll see. Yeah, I'm, I'm <laughs> exactly. I'm like, okay, is that going to happen? Yeah. Anyway, on that note. Oh, by the way, I created a new layout. Uh, I don't know how it's going to work. I guess it's whoever. Well, it's just Jordan. It. Yeah, but what it, it what you can't see is that if if we were to share a screen, uh, it it would fill a big box. You could have like a close up of something you're doing, like if somebody mm. wanted to share media. Let's say, and I saw somebody that was working on the Falcon, and they had what they were doing up here in the upper left, and then they had a, a still image of of one of Dimsco's pictures uh, down here, like a close up of a detail. And I'm like, oh, I'm gonna create that as a layout. So we have that to use now. Okay cool. then. Mm hmm. Anyway, let's get out of here. We had a good, we had a good stream. Another five hours. Another another Friday night. You know. Yep. Uh, I think we all did. We had we had a bunch of people on. I think we had what seven people on at once. We did. When everybody was here, and yes. I made good progress on this, which I wanted to get done. Put my static clean back on. Keep the windows clean. Uh, that's it. Let's get out of here. Like, subscribe. Links are in the all right. Discord, Discord, Facebook. Links are all in the description. Everybody's just, uh, channel description. It, we it's even in added, the doubly do. Yeah, even Jordan is down there now. Nice. Oh, wow. Jordan, even there Jordan we go. is in the description. <laughs> so check his channel out. I love the stuff that he's doing. Check out Ian. You know, he just put up his Ecto video. He even uh, mentioned me, not by name. And. Uh, we'll, we'll see y'all Sunday at four. Our next stream live group live stream will be Sunday at four, and and next Wednesday we build. The oh group. yeah, perfect grade time. Yeah, God, we're going to build this as a group build. There's six of us that are going to put oh. together this and paint it and have some fun with it and do it all different ways. And hopefully, I'll learn something. I can't wait to show you guys the intro I made. Mm -hmm. Where am I going to put all these sprues? Oh, God. Oh, no, it's yeah. a Bandai. Where am I going to put all these runners? Yes. <laughs> so, oh, God. Uh, we're going to start that group uh, build on Wednesday, uh, this Wednesday, coming up uh, the 20th of March at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, we'll go for about two hours every week on Wednesdays and just see how far we get. We're in no rush. Indeed. So No rush at all. It's awesome. Stick around for that. And There'll be then, six we'll, Falcons at Wonderfest in 2025. Yeah, well, yeah, 20. Not not this year. Definitely not going to be done by in time. 2025, yeah. maybe. Uh, yeah. So, oh my God, what did I just do? I don't know what I did. But Richard says, unlike me, hope you guys sleep well. I, I hope so. <laughs> All right, Richard, fellow insomniac so. here. I feel you. Yeah. I so, I couldn't fall asleep till five in the morning yesterday. So yeah, I got a four. Right. I'll be up till four a.m. Ah. Uh, all right, let's get out of here. Everybody wave. Adios, Bye. everybody. Bye, guys. <laughs>